So it's six o'clock. I'd like to open up the meeting. Um, and any, are there any adjustments to the agenda? None for me. Okay. I, have I have one. Um, the uh, rural community transportation and appropriation for the bus that they have um, running from Morrisville down to uh, Barry and Montpelier. Um, they have a, a appropriation form to, to be on the town meeting uh, agenda. So um, I'd like to, um, I, I don't know if we have to, the select board has to approve that we would, they're asking us to um, uh, get names for them. So I don't know if we have to, have to approve that it would be on the, t on the town meeting agenda. Or when you met with them, there was an open question about whether you could just put them in the budget no, or whether they have to go through the nonprofit sector right. process. And I don't know if you all had decided that yet. Well, but it looks I like they think tonight. you did. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's, I'd like to add that. Um, and uh, I have another set of uh, the special select board meeting that we had on Saturday. I've got the minutes for that. So I'll add that for approving that. Okay. Minutes. Other than that, that's any public comment at all <coughs> no, at this moment. Okay. So I would make a motion that we approve the bills to the town. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so that's done. And then I would make a motion that we approve the minutes for the uh, November 25th, 2019 select board meeting and also the minutes for the December 7th, 2019 special select board meeting. Second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so we'll sign them on the dotted line here. Uh, that one. So you don't have to sit through all the other exciting stuff. That you well, have to do. a couple things that I've been working on. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know where you want to start. Uh, it's up to you. Well, you, you. well what I <clears throat> what I come up with is after doing finding out last weekend that you that you own both of those ten wheeler trucks now. Mm -hmm. Yep, free clear. Um, so I went and did some more research on uh, what estimates of what the longevity of those trucks should mm -hmm. be. Mm -hmm. If we doubled the longevity of them, we still would be 100,000 miles under what most people would recommend for mm -hmm. maximum mileage. Mm -hmm. You're looking at 100 and, uh, uh, probably 150 to 160,000 miles if you kept them six more years mm -hmm. using using what you've already had the last six years. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, five years on one and six on the other, but I'm going to use an average somewhere. So yeah. I, they both got about the same way. So what we what I come up with, <clears throat> talking to three different uh, outfits that run trucks like that, that if you ran them another six years, you still would be quite a ways under what they're Life expectancy would be. Mm -hmm. um, 
Uh, also, I changed my, after sitting down and doing the figures, I changed my mind on what now that you own them. I was, when I came in here last week, I was under the impression that you still, that those trucks were worn out and you were in, 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 in a position where you really needed to, mm -hmm. to get rid of them. Yeah, no, no, that's not, definitely not the case. And so what I did was, I, <clears throat> I went in to sit down and did some figures. Mm -hmm. And I come up with a savings of a little over fourteen thousand dollars a year if you haul your own sand mm -hmm. instead of hiring it done, because of the simple fact is that you're not that's thirty-five thousand dollars a year that you're not making payments on anymore, mm -hmm. right. which you were before. And I'm just using that as an approximate. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know exactly, yeah. but it's around thirty-five thousand plus plus yeah. insurance and one one was a. A little bit less than the other because um, and I don't really know the reason because they were they were already bought when, when I came yeah. on the cycle. Yeah. But one was a little bit less than that. But it comes out in that yeah. area. Comes yeah. out in that yeah, that's, area. That's so I'm just using. I mean, I didn't have the complete figure, the exact mm -hmm. figures mm -hmm. of it. But that <clears throat> so that that makes it so that and what my idea was, uh, see how this floats with you guys, mm -hmm. is you take that savings, mm -hmm. <clears throat> put it in. I went around to several other towns. Mm -hmm. And every town you were talking that other like Hardick was doing this, they wanted to have a six year turnover or whatever. Or seven year, yes. Well, those towns have same as this town used to have, mm -hmm. was a truck fund. Mm -hmm. Those yeah. those towns, um, like Cabot paid cash for the truck. Yep. And Hardwick does now too. Right? Cool. Hardwick does too, yep. You see, yep. so that was my point and we've gotten away from that. We have, we have, yep. And we're paying high interest. On, mm -hmm. Exactly. We're trying these, to get back. That's what we're trying to. We're we trying agree. to get back there. And, and and my point is, those trucks are going to be nowhere near worn out. We went over last Tuesday, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> I didn't climb under them, but I tell you what, I told, we looked them over in pretty good shape. I think the guys have taken pretty good care of them. They have. Yeah. yeah. And you're not going to. I mean, I'm, I told you that I would tell you what, mm -hmm. both pro and con. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. mean, if I find yeah. something that I feel is is being done correct, I'm going to tell you so. I'm okay. not just going to come in here and, and, and bitch. Mm -hmm. you know, that's not my point. Right. That's not my point. Right. And <clears throat> with the maintenance kept up, the way it there definitely has been, there's no reason in the world that I can see mm -hmm. that those trucks can't last another six years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my point is, if you take that money, just just the $14,000 difference, you see, it comes out, I, I figured, um, uh, you're putting the trucks at uh, yeah, get my 9,100 miles a year mm -hmm. is what it would cost, what it would take to put up 4,000 yards of sand from mm -hmm. from uh, gravels. Mm -hmm. All right, and I did the figures on that, and that comes up to about $10,900. Mm -hmm. It's going to cost you uh, $25,000 to hire it up. Right. And the sand price is the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it yeah. Be the sand trucks. Yep. Instead of fifty-three thousand approximately, and these are approximate figures, mm -hmm. I'm going to change a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. You can do it for thirty-eight thousand if you do it with your own truck. Mm -hmm. And to me, that fourteen thousand could either be applied towards the salary of that person that's mm -hmm. doing the hauling, mm -hmm. or it can be applied towards a percentage that you put back into the truck fund mm -hmm. over a period of six years. That's a pretty, pretty substantial good amount. amount of money. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Just in the savings. Now, mm -hmm. the only thing that I can't come up with for a for a set amount is the price of the tires. Right, right. Those are incidentals. You're going to be five to ten percent, probably. Yeah, probably, but I can't. Yeah, the real wear and tear on the tires, as you probably already know, is where it you know the winter time and the chains. Yeah, yeah. wear the tires. Yeah. 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 And and but from what I can figure out from what's going on, that only about eleven between eleven and twelve percent of the truck use is actually snow plowing mm -hmm. and sanding. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. why the mileage is so low. And, and yeah. what's another thing that what, the people that I talked to about the truck blasting, you know, the being so good that mm -hmm. that eight I'm gonna use that as a figure, eighty yeah. percent of your trucks are being run on a blacktop. Mm -hmm. Now construction trucks don't usually do that. I mean, you're not when you're hauling right. sand, you're not hauling. You know, you're not putting the trucks in an adverse condition anywhere. Mm -hmm. So that means that these trucks, even at at eighty thousand miles or seventy five, mm -hmm. well, eighty thousand. We went over and checked. Yeah, it's out. A it was five thousand more than what we had. Yeah, it's about eighty. About eighty thousand. Mm -hmm. Now, 
is under pretty easy conditions. Mm -hmm. So the wear and tear on those trucks, from what everybody tells me, is actually quite a lot less than what it would be on a normal dump truck that works in construction. Mm -hmm. yep. So there again, if the, if the trucks are continue to be maintained, and you guys have come up with a figure for maintenance, mm -hmm. I mean, and, and, and a percentage to put into a truck fund, you're going to be a lot better off, I think, as a taxpayer, and I think you would, mm -hmm. you guys need to talk this about it. In six years, from those, and it's still only going to be 150,000 miles. Mm -hmm. It's still going to be 100,000 miles under mm -hmm. what they figure that the actual usage of them is. Mm -hmm. So they're still going to be worth a fairly substantial amount of money. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you could have a, a pretty we time. Good, to, huh? We have time to put money away. Put time for six yeah. years, or maybe seven. I mean, I'm just using six years, double the time is what I'm right. using. If you're going to use the same amount, I'm going to—I say estimate that you're going to <coughs> that you're going to um, probably put about the same amount of miles on. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't have any other way to. Should be, you know, that should be. You don't have any other I way to. Still the same. Yeah. yeah. It's one thing we got to look at too is trying to get them separated, which means one of them may have to go a little sooner than we want, well, so you I've can spread a, them. Well, I got a thing to do that when mm -hmm. you think about this. You mm -hmm. just can you can you tell me? Do you have your figure that you have for your new truck, that single axle GoPro? I don't have any figures at all. I know the road crew does, but I... No, I, I mean, the, what would it cost to purchase it? Uh, $156,000, I think. But that's that's my memory. I could find well, that. Well, no, figure. I don't... Yeah. I'm just... If that's, that's, a, yeah. that's what I really want. That's the body yeah. or plows, yeah. 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 the works. That was the... Yeah. I don't yeah. remember what it was either. Yeah. And yeah. what my point is, I'm talking with dealers. I went to Burlington and mm -hmm. talked with a dealer, too. Mm -hmm. And... Those trucks, you take the two of them, mm -hmm. I still am a confirmed believer that you can find another smaller truck mm -hmm. and trade both of those at the end of this six or seven year cycle and not mm -hmm. have two ten wheels, have one ten wheeler and maybe two smaller trucks that get around uh -huh. better. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that four wheel drive. Yep. Mm -hmm. and like the then, old internationals, that's that size? Yeah, that yep. size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the uh, international Chevy makes that. Hardwick just bought one, it's a yeah. 30. K thirty thousand. I'm going to go down and look at theirs. Well, uh, as a, Detroit, a as a, just, just barely from delivery. Yeah. It's a Duramax diesel with an Alpha. So you're saying just keep one of the big ten wheelers. Keep one of the big ten wheelers. But when you but yeah. you need to but you, to me, in order to talk into a dealer, you, now you own them. You need to max them out. And <coughs> if you trade them in at seventy five thousand miles, how are you going? To, you're not going. To, the town is not going to recoup its in, mm -hmm. initial investment because mm -hmm. they're going to take those trucks and sell them. Mm -hmm. For 60, 70, 80 percent of what mm -hmm. you already paid for, mm -hmm. run them out, and then when you get ready to trade both of them, trade mm -hmm. them both of them for one ten wheeler and a smaller truck, and you have a truck fund mm -hmm. to put into them. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think that it makes sense for the town to over a period of six or seven years, but you're not. You're still going to be way undervalued. Mm -hmm. Do you think two low pros would would work? Well, probably, yeah, I think. Well, right. I, uh, the town. It's a one ten wheeler and a couple of low pros. Couple of low pros. The only benefit of the ten wheeler is hauling sand. I mean, just yeah, piling that small benefit. truck. I mean, only they raved about that mm -hmm. smaller all wheel drive truck. We talked extensively. Driving, we yeah. talked extensively with Greg about that. And the thing about and mm -hmm. I've said this. We talked about it before, way back. Yeah. When I was working for the town, that we had some roads in this town. It'd be so nice if you had those trucks and they get around so much easier. Mm -hmm. And the majority of the, the ten wheeler, if you're going to haul your own sand, is that's basically what it does, and it's mm -hmm. there to plow. Mm -hmm. You're not going to plow any better or any faster with that ten wheeler than you would with that mm -hmm. low pro truck, mm -hmm. and you can mm -hmm. go mm -hmm. at a lot less expense. Right. What's a low pro? Well, that's, it's that's just a, a smaller truck. It's a it's smaller truck. But, lower. but not as small as a one ton. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. It's the one that takes over there. It's the third, it's third plow truck that we yeah. have. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. all wheel drive. It's all wheel drive, and yep. and it's. But it's bigger than that truck. little Ford that they have. It's yeah. in between them and the yeah. big it's, dump truck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, 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 they make a size for everything now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I came up with, you're looking at, at that price, <coughs> you're looking at sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 cheaper to buy mm -hmm. the next truck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like, like Greg was talking over there the other day when we talked, but their intention of that is basically to keep it to plow snow with. Mm -hmm. If you just use that single eye, that low pro truck to plow mm -hmm. snow with, it'll last you 10, 12 years. Easy. Mm -hmm. Easy. Well, maintain it well. Yeah. You maintain it. Yeah. They've done a good job. Yeah, they you know, I've always yeah. said that, that, that they keep, you know, they're right on top of the main. I mean, they're both mechanics. Yeah. The so, low pro hauls the salt, all right? 
No, no, no. no. We no. An I've got a scenario that. for that. Yeah. That's why we hung on to the, uh, the 550. Okay. And with on, I've made the list. He's got, probably got the yeah. same suggestion. But we've, we looked at that over, and there's a few things that we could do to that to make it uh, live another year or two. But mm -hmm. my idea, and Paul and I talked this over as far as that. So you need that so you don't put salt in those other trucks. Yeah, right. Those other trucks are too expensive. Yeah. To put salt mm -hmm. in. That's it just. Yeah. Yeah, unless you're going to buy stainless steel bodies, well, which is double the cost. And, but then you, then it gets into the running right. here. It gets yeah, it gets, yeah, it gets, it gets in, in everything. Yeah, that was out. Greg Parker's. You know, he wanted you to really hang on to that for well, just for that. So, and yeah. there's a lot we could be done with it. We could take. I don't know if I went into detail completely tonight, but take the body off it, put a flatbed on it, put a slide in sander that we use uh -huh. in the next rig. Yeah, other people have suggested that before. Yeah. And that way... Then that can move to the next vehicle. Move to the next vehicle, mm -hmm. which isn't a big expense. Uh, we're, I've, I've, I've priced... You've got to, if we shop around a little bit, mm -hmm. we can buy a brand new one. Yeah, brand new. $4,000. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. A two-yard slide in sander, electric. Yeah. yeah. But the flatbed you can move from truck to truck, truck. with the sander in it. Yeah. With the sander in it, you don't need that dump. And with a flatbed, they could use it for other things. Yeah, in the yeah. summer, you pull it out, and yeah. you got the other truck to drive around. And yeah. And you don't need that expense of somebody because you have the other single axle dump truck in the summer mm -hmm. if you need to, mm -hmm. you know, to move it. And that I'm would maximize the money we spent upgrading mm -hmm. and getting it repaired for if we can get a couple more years. I think yeah. if we looked at I didn't get right after it, but if the frame is where I think we could take that truck, take the body off it, and get at least another year. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, if it doesn't, it doesn't, but I've been looking a three-quarter ton and one-ton truck to go out of state. I found two in Rhode Island, mm -hmm. um, 550s, with without this, uh, a cabin chassis mm -hmm. um, drive, yeah. for twenty-five five thousand mm -hmm. dollars um, with thirty thousand miles on. Mm -hmm. You know, there's things like that. If we spent some time mm -hmm. looking, we can have something that we can use here. Mm -hmm. You got to have small truck to do salt and go. You can't expect them to go after parts. Right. And, right, and that's something they could run around and I know that's mm -hmm. been a Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wanted to run. When well, I was there, we didn't have anything at the time, you know, and, yeah. and so you'd end up, but they end up using their own vehicles, and that doesn't work. But, right. Yeah, but, the expense, but the expense of what, 550, you're, you're talking eighty nine, ninety thousand dollars 90000 To buy another mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. like yeah. And my idea of that is, is to, to keep our costs down and look in the future, and mm -hmm. I think you'll find that the money-wise, instead mm -hmm. of ditching those things now, mm -hmm. when they're in mm -hmm. such good condition, mm -hmm. That they'll be nearly as good a condition because you're only using them mm -hmm. minimally. Right. Yeah. Because you have two of them. Mm -hmm. And even if you just have one, you're only putting on 10,000 miles a year with just one truck. Mm -hmm. So this, this hauling sand, if you split it up, is only 5,000 miles a year mm -hmm. for each truck. Mm -hmm. And I know that we're, we're getting, uh, getting away from. My my recommendation was before that we you know hire it done. Well, and it frees up a man to do the other work. But I think that you can, if we get some coordination mm -hmm. and a schedule figured out over there with the crew, that mm -hmm. they can do that. Yeah, no, I think. I mean, they have had a system that works. Right, with one person their, pretty yeah, much hauling yeah, all the sand. Yeah. So. And and find you know time and the wherewithal. To cut brush, clean culverts, right. do those sorts of do things that aren't, that aren't being done and have not been done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it didn't draw rocket scientists to go mm -hmm. look. Mm -hmm. Just like last Tuesday when we went over that nasty pothole or over there. On County Road? On County Road. Yeah. We just suggested doing it, we went and fixed it up. But there's one of the things that, what, that bothers me is that they didn't do that on their own. Mm -hmm. They were over there putting the wings and plows on those trucks mm -hmm. in the first of October when it was 65 degrees. Mm -hmm. That's when they should have been out fixing these potholes for winter, mm -hmm. getting the roads ready, because you don't need the wings on those trucks in October. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just that, that, that's a management thing. Right. I think there's part of it, you know, just the nervousness of, you know, it's going to. But it yeah. happens sometime, I want to be well, ready. It happens every yeah. year, but we, we, we plowed roads in this town with, for years and years mm -hmm. and years and years with no wings. Right. Mm -hmm. You could slap on that plow in, mm -hmm. a, in a matter of hours mm -hmm. if we have a snowstorm. Mm -hmm. And that's not any mm -hmm. And the idea how many times have we had a major snowstorm or any snowstorm the first of two weeks in October? Not you get right. an inch or two. Yeah. My point is, it's, no, that's a management thing. Yeah. It's, it's, yep. it's, it's, a, it's a little thing, but it's mm -hmm. a management thing. Mm -hmm. Instead of these potholes being the way mm -hmm. they are, that's when you fix this stuff for winter. Mm -hmm. 
And that's what comes back to managing mm -hmm. the time mm -hmm. and the resources. Mm -hmm. um, that's basically where I'm coming from. Now, I, I'll get off the truck. <clears throat> I went down mm -hmm. and met with Pete about the excavator. They're going to mm -hmm. send a man up to look at that and come up with a value. Mm -hmm. And he will look at it and tell us whether the bottom is shot, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. He'll give us an assessment. He'll give us an assessment of it um, and a value of it. Mm -hmm. And like I said to him, then we can figure out if it's what you want to do with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's going to be, that's going to mean something. Mm -hmm. Whether how much you're going to, an estimate of how much you'll have to put into it to keep it, how much you'll have to put into it if you decide that you want to trade it or whatever, mm -hmm. or sell it or whatever mm -hmm. you want to come up with. But you've got to start somewhere. And that's, yeah. and he said he would send a man okay. as soon as he freed somebody out. Yeah. Just I out know, of curiosity. You know, Greg has talked to some people about it too. I'm not sure what. What, he, what he's had. Yeah, so when I talked to Greg the other day, I went over there and met with him Thursday, and he looked at, he's saying what they, he knows it needs a couple rollers for sure. Yeah. One of the uh, pistons is leaking on the boom, needs to be rebuilt, and the, uh, um, the grease, uh, the, <laughs> well, the attentioner, the attentioner needs to be rebuilt. So he felt like they could uh, take one link out of the chain well, and shorten it. I don't know that that's. Well, I talked with Pete today, and he says those those rigs, okay, those steel tracks, the pins wear on the inside, so you can't see them. Okay, mm -hmm. that's what I don't know. I just was. And if they're doing that, yeah. it's, that's not a that's not a cure. If you're mm -hmm. taking a lag out, you know, a link out. So you're thinking it needs it. new chains, and mm -hmm. we can right. reuse the pads. And, and so I looked at the sprockets, and they're getting down, but they probably yeah, they got a little guy, they got a little bit of wear left yeah, on them. But he's this guy. This will is, give us, he'll give us good. He's one of the best. He'll give us an estimate. Of what you know, what it needs for repairs, and then we, then you guys can sit down and make an educated assessment of whether you want to put that money into it or what you want to do with it. Okay. So the, this so fellow yeah. Pete is that a is he part of it? I'm sure he owns Pete's he, equipment. He owns Pete, yeah. Pete's equipment. Okay, okay. which is where I think yeah, that's, that's where he bought that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Is that more stuff? Yeah. 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 Right. He's not too far away then. No. 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 Okay. And he was. I, I met with him today yeah. and mm -hmm. had a pretty good talk with him about that and. It, and uh, he said, yeah, he said, but the trouble is, um, of course, there may be things that they'll find once they get it. One of the right. problems, one of the problems they're going to have, it's over there folding in the dirt, and he ain't going to be able to trade it. Right, and I did talk to Greg about that. He said that the problem was it got parked when he wasn't here, and they didn't know where to put it on something. That's what uh, he told but me. But there again, it's coming back to the management issue. Yeah, and yeah. I, yeah, and, and he says as soon as things fall out, he's going to try to get it out of there. He understands it shouldn't be frozen mm -hmm. to the ground. Yeah. yeah, he was, you know, he took a vacation. He's a deer he hunter. He's gone for Yeah, which is so, fine. Yeah. But I mean, that's, but yeah. it's still, it, mm -hmm. it, it isn't rocket science. And it's, right. But it's those little things that hurt right. us mm -hmm. immensely. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, maybe always the little things that bite you. <laughs> this little warm break, maybe they can. They can get it broken free. Yeah, right now we're tomorrow might be a good day break. to try to move yeah. it and see. You got two days. Goes. You got yeah. today and tomorrow, and, yeah. and it probably get it dried up. But that's that to me. That's a starting point. Mm -hmm. Maybe that maybe that it doesn't make any sense to keep it. For what Sounds like a good thing to do. Yeah. Well, we'll look at it. Yeah. I mean, we gotta. Yeah. That fits into a whole bunch of other things. Of mm -hmm. What is our goals and focus is going to be? Because if you're going to stay with ditching, doing your own, so then the excavator is the machine. If you're going to focus changes to how what we're doing, then you need a different machine. I, mm -hmm. I went and spent two days in the last two weeks going around as best, best I could assessing what the road ditching problems are and mm -hmm. what what we need to do. And as and I've, as best as I can come up with. You probably got a minimum of three months worth of work. Mm -hmm. If you just kept somebody on it. On it full time. Mm -hmm. It'd take two man crew. I mean, just mean like just cleaning them and getting them. See, that's so much. That's, yeah. that's a challenge we got coming up because we got to focus on berms too. Yeah. It's a. It's we got to figure that out for next there's summer. A lot, there's, <laughs> a lot, there's a lot of work that's been neglected. Mm -hmm. And, and they got to ditch it before they can berm it. Some of it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We've got to yeah. we've got to figure out some of this stuff. Yeah. For. Our focus, that's on my other list, is just mm -hmm. what we're going to have our focus be. I mean, I just, um, and what I would like, I mean, I'm I, um, more than willing to help you guys to mm -hmm. do any of this sort of thing. If you come to a point where you, I'm not in this to try to force Greg Parkhurst out or Greg Adams right. out. Right. That, that's not my point. Mm -hmm. My point is to fix these things that mm -hmm. are haven't been addressed for about six, seven years, mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. longer. Huh. And to try to find a way to curb this um, exodus of money. Mm -hmm. 
like this new truck thing. It just, just because it's what you want doesn't necessarily mean it's what we need. Right. There's a there's a hell of a difference as far as the way I look at it as, mm -hmm. a, as a taxpayer, and I know and I, you know how how things can be done and what actually needs to be done with the machinery. Mm -hmm. As far as that grader goes, I went and looked at grader. <laughs> um, as far as I can tell, mm -hmm. there's a damn thing wrong with that one. Mm -hmm. It's old, but it's all mine. It's old and it's kind of small by standards well, for what other towns have. I don't care. See, that's, I run greater and mm -hmm. everything, and that's, mm -hmm. that's a perfect size for this town. Mm -hmm. Every town that buys a new one, the road foreman says, I want a bigger greater. Mm -hmm. Every town has a greater that's way too big for what they need. Mm -hmm. Including Callis, go to Marshfield. Callis has two graders. They got two graders, yeah. yeah. Well, twice what they, the reason they did, they got a deal. See, Marshfield mm -hmm. decided they wanted a great big John Deere grader, and so mm -hmm. they sold the town of Callis their smaller John Deere grader for a little bit of money because mm -hmm. they weren't going to give them anything for trading. That's how uh -huh. they ended up with that second mm -hmm. grader. Mm -hmm. And Marshfield bought this great, big, humongous John Deere grader with twice as big as it needs to be for what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, are greater big enough for what? Oh, it, it is now, and it always has been. Now you had been no, something else you'd mentioned with the greater. There is buying some ripper teeth for the go on the there's front. A, there's a there's a s system that would save us some money on our on our ripper teeth that go on the cutting edge. Those mm -hmm. are expensive. Dunning teeth expensive. are expensive. Yep. And we could cut down on probably one set of them every two years if we put the money into a ripper system. They have mm -hmm. a set of teeth that bolt to the, front of the, the grader. front of the grader. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, it takes some training mm -hmm. because a guy can rip up a culvert with them. Right. What you they're doing, the what the idea right of them is, that teeth that come down, the hydraulic operator. Like a plow almost, it would yeah. break and that. And it breaks up that surface of the road. Mm -hmm. Which, that's all those diamond teeth are doing. That's what right. doing. But it digs it down a little deeper. But yeah, you would hook a culvert and pop it right out of the ground. You're not, they just have to be careful. You have to go and know where the culverts are. And right. and pull so, do you rip? And grade at the same no, time. Rip no, first, first. no, you rip it. You rip your road up. Make three Break it all up. Get rid of all the They're only about four feet wide. They fit right inside the front wheels. They come right in the hydraulically and operate. It would fit right on that machine. They look like a little plow. Almost. Yeah, it's just about yeah, a bunch of fangs that just sticks through and just digs through. Yeah, they dig through it and they're doing it. And they've got caps on them. So when they mm -hmm. wear out, you put new caps on The caps on them mm -hmm. are like thirty dollars a piece. You know, it's mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. But what happened? My point is, then you can grade a lot of your roads with your regular cutting edge, mm -hmm. which are one tenth the price. Of the carbide teeth. Of the carbide teeth. Uh huh. And it would you do that once a year probably, right? Just reshape that road. Well, it whatever it takes. Yeah. I mean, whatever mm -hmm. it takes. When the, but when the summertime, when they get packed hard, 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 and yeah. it's like when, what happens here now. One of the problems that these guys have got, they've never learned how to cut the potholes out. Mm -hmm. If you've got teeth that rippers on it, on them, you can go before you grade mm -hmm. in those bad spots mm -hmm. and rip those potholes out, right? They got to be mm -hmm. to fix a pothole. You've got to go to the bottom of it. Right. And they've had to see all this sand we've been putting on. And that's mm -hmm. all they're grading. They're not mm -hmm. getting into the sub base anymore. Mm -hmm. So what they're doing is filling those potholes with sand. Mm -hmm. And first time you get a good hard rain, mm -hmm. the potholes are back. Yep. But if you go with that ripper, take those potholes out. Mm -hmm. I don't care if there's 15 of them in the section that you're going to grade mm -hmm. today, then you mm -hmm. go back and grade your road. Mm -hmm. Those potholes will be gone a lot longer, I mean, it'll be mm -hmm. 80 percent more. You know, mm -hmm. It's all a, a system thing, mm -hmm. but um, there you, again, it's, it's... You could still grade them out, because we've seen Rip do it for oh, you. Well, you just well, got to grade them out, but you've got, make, you've got to make four, five, six, yeah, seven this passes. This reduces right? that first pass to one, you break oh, it all right. up. So yeah. that cuts Plus it helps yeah. you mix that sand into the, yeah. into so the base. Do one shot you don't have to do the whole road, but to do the work to hire, but then in the summertime when it's hard, you do the whole thing, six inches, eight inches deep. When you get to them potholes, you rip them, make four or five passes right there. You're just ripping them out, rip them out. Mm -hmm. and then back up and grade it, and you can use your regular grader bowl. It mixes all that material in. That's mm -hmm. the sand's got to be rolled underneath that gravel. That's mm -hmm. one of the problems we've got here, why the burns are so bad on the edge of the road. It's all that sand. Mm -hmm. They haven't been taken and cleaned up. Right. Now, before I, that's another tip. But another thing that I want to go before I leave. Um, <clears throat> uh, if, you did your sand in three year contract, right? Yes. Is it up this year? No, not? this is the second year of the three year contract. So you got one more year? One more year. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to look around for some more sand prices, but there's no sense mm -hmm. in doing it until your contract is yeah. Right. Yeah. So we got this winter and next winter yeah. sand. I think, you know, as over the last few years, um, we've kind of really, the 
sand that we get from gravel is is good sand. Yeah, it's good sand. And um, Kenny Davis had almost the identical sand, but he was a hair more, right? No, actually the gravel was a hair more. Yeah, gravel, gravel was a hair yeah. more. The sieve test was about the same, but there were some complaints that that Davis might have different piles. Yeah. Right. But what my what my um, I talked with Scott McCullough several times about it. They have a big savings there. We, like, Callis has excellent sand. You know why? Because mm -hmm. they put stone in. Right. That's the only difference, except the, the, sand, the sand that you get out of out of there is clean because it's washed. Mm -hmm. There's no clay or whatever mm -hmm. residue in it. Mm -hmm. They inject the, the stone into it. Callis mm -hmm. has more stone than we do. Right, and bigger, and bigger so I notice the difference when I go up mm -hmm. Foster Hill Early, and then yeah. head down into to the north. Um, I don't Callis. remember why we didn't want calluses gravel or sand. Do you? I I do because Harry didn't want to do it. Harry didn't like it because what happened was he didn't want to pay for the stone. See, that mm -hmm. was the, the stone is a little it's a little more expensive than we are. Mm -hmm. But then we were buying it by the ton because they had mm -hmm. scales. The scales are gone then, and they also mm -hmm. would yeah. be by the yard. But you take a look at the sand, mm -hmm. and what my point was been with Harry when he, because he switched over immediately after I left. He didn't want to, he didn't, well. So you were buying it from? I bought every bit of it from there, and now I got a deal on that from the, that year from the state. That's how come we put up that extra sand pile. So you guys are using 1,200 yards more sand a year, a year than we ever did before. Mm -hmm. I put up 4,000 yards a year I was here because I got a deal from the state of Vermont. They were stopping using sand altogether. And, the and they gave me the Montpelier and the orange sand for $4 a yard. Mm -hmm. And then and then only charged me for about two-thirds of what we hauled. So we ended up with about 1,200 yards of sand mm -hmm. from the state that was cheaper. See, because mm -hmm. that's why I... And, <clears throat> but Harry, the main reason Harry quit was because of Cliff Rathbun. Mm -hmm. He and Cliff didn't get along. Mm -hmm. And Cliff was then, you know, doing oh, all yeah. and so on and so mm -hmm. forth from down there and that's where that that's where that all started. <clears throat> but um, I can the trucking would be one about one fifth. Mm -hmm. See that's right. where that's they're sand and they're pit down right here. here. Right in East Callis. Cliff Rathburn, when I had him put up our sand that year, he could do th between thirty two and thirty five loads a day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the best that you guys are doing, the best that Tim was yeah. about well eight on eight an average, to nine, eight yeah. to nine on a good day. But if there's mm -hmm. any other trucks down there, so it's a huge savings. It's an it's hour just, round trip. Saying, just, yeah. just, just in the time, but in the fuel wear and tear on a truck, you're going to take this nine thousand miles down to mm -hmm. three thousand miles mm -hmm. to put up your sand pile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've got this three. You've got to sit down and figure that mm -hmm. difference mm -hmm. into your into your total expenditure for mm -hmm. sand. Mm -hmm. And you can come up with just as good a sand or better sand mm -hmm. if you make sure that the stone gets put into it. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you guys did this the last time, I think it might have been before I had just come on after that, <coughs> you must have put it out to bid. You were you had just well, come, you were on just the board. board. Yeah. yeah. So I put it out to bid because I don't remember McCullough's bidding on it. No, they haven't for a few years. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not I sure why. Scott, well, yeah. I, cause, well, we only had his and uh, we just have Ken Davis. Kenny Davis. Davis. He yeah. got some, I don't know who, who Scott got his feedback from, but he said that whoever he talked to, I don't know how well you know Scott, but mm -hmm. if you don't act interested, he's not interested. He don't have to be here. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he just said, they don't want to talk to me, they can go. <laughs> I not to say that, but that's what, and that's what he told me. And, and that's why he didn't even put in a price. Mm -hmm. yeah. He said, the hell are you if you're not interested? Said, mm -hmm. Because we always hold it from there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, yep. no, I can't say that. Gary tried it from the pit up in Hardwick one year, and then he tried it one year from... from Demers, you mean, or...? Well, he tried it from Demers one year, yeah. but he tried the pit up in Hardwick, up, uh, that, well, uh, up by the old dump, you know. Yeah. And that... Look at it over on Route 2 there. Bickford's, Bickford's yeah. Well, that's... That's gravel. That's, that's more gravel. stone. I don't think there's any... I don't think they've got any sand. They don't have any sand. It's stone and gravel. Yeah. But those and those didn't Gary on the hollow had them one year. And he hired and he hired him out hired it out of Davis one year, Gary did. But what happened was the guy that they hired to haul it waited until the first of October. Mm. 
it was decent sand, but it rained pretty near every day the guys hauling it. So mm -hmm. what happened was they had 2,500 yards of sand over here. Right, frozen, so it was right, full it was of water. wet, yeah. And froze, that happened to be one of them winters yeah. when... Yeah, I remember those big chunks that they were kept rolling mm -hmm. out of the way yeah. over there. And that's, and that's what happens, you know. And that's one of the good things about this, the guys hauling the sand over the summer. Mm -hmm. Let's yes. call it on dry That's days. another reason they prefer gravel is that it, it doesn't freeze as much. I know that, that when they used the Demers pit, um, it didn't stay on the road very well and, and they had a lot of frozen chunks they had to deal Yeah, well, that's what happens with it. So it's, it's yeah. when, that's when you've got that stuff in it. But yeah. um, the thing to do is anybody wants to see the difference is go down to Callus and look at Callus's pile of sand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It isn't a, you know, you go in and look at it and you look at what Callus does with it. I said the only problem that Callus has. Well, the UPS guy says it, you think Woodbury is bad, you want to go to Callis, but you can't get there. I do notice, you know, I drive Foster Hill, yeah. County Road, um, pretty regular in my in my work, and the roads always seem better in Woodbury. When I, of course, Foster Hill and Callis, that's kind of the end of a fringe road for them, but it's always so much better. Well, what happens with them is it happened this year, yeah. where the UPS man is, and what's happened is they, I don't know what they haven't turned the sander on. They just let it dribble in the middle of the road. Right. I, I, th I think they are kind of cautious on how much sand they use. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, there's, and I see the stone, but I don't see much sand, and the road's pretty icy underneath. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they've also got... Does it melt? Yeah. You've got yeah. sand reappears. Yeah. And it helps they've also out. got 93 miles of road. Yeah, they have quite a few. So, but anyway, that's that's yeah. where I'm at. And I'm just... Yeah. Um, okay. And yeah, I'm more than, more than willing to... I mean, I can... I know that the guys... Are, well, Paul and I had a, I thought, uh, Sounded like you had a good, we did have good a nice meeting. Greg Parker wasn't here, he was hunting. Yeah. But Gary Adams was, I thought, quite receptive to what um, we yeah, had. Yeah, I would concur. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah, and it would be nice if we could get Greg Parkers to kind of just sit down. I think. Yeah, and I had a very I nice conversation be, with Greg. So yeah. I think we need to talk about these things with Greg. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And I, think and, I and I'm I want you guys to confer to him. I don't have anything against him. He he right. thinks it, and, and I'm not trying to take his job or cause him trouble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not what I'm doing here. Mm -hmm. And I don't. Uh, you guys need to understand that I'm trying. I know how to save this town some money, mm -hmm. and I. That's all I'm. That's all I'm doing. Yeah. And if he's willing to to do the job, that's all we need. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think. With some with some direction, he more, they're more than capable of doing what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I would hope that that you guys could have good discussions about this, and, and not and you know the kind of tension or that that could could um, go away, um, and that you know we could come. It yeah. would be a positive Absolutely. result for the town. Well, what what do you guys think? I mean, Brian and I talked about a little bit about setting those guys down individually in an. Uh, in a setting for you guys. Mm -hmm. It probably needs to happen. I think it's probably mm -hmm. a good idea. Because mm -hmm. we don't do evaluations. And right. so no, that no, could no. be a yeah. type of Because nice. I'd, I'd like to get, I'd like to get yeah. some feedback from them too. Just honest stuff mm -hmm. that they think mm -hmm. needs. All of them. Yeah, yeah, we don't have to agree right. with everything. It just needs right. to hear them out. Everybody wants to be heard out. So yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, there, it's, it's pretty evident that they have different ideas than I do. Sure. About a lot of things that are going on. But my where I'm coming from mm -hmm. is I guess that I'm cheap, <laughs> but what, I've been doing this a lifetime, mm -hmm. and, and this and this there's a lot of ways if you pay attention mm -hmm. that we can save a lot of money mm -hmm. over a, a long period of time. Mm -hmm. It and starts with the trucks, obviously, because that's our the biggest expense. Your two biggest ones, biggest equipment trucks. and salaries. Yeah. 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 And and it's and it seems to me the way your guys are set up, you guys can figure that out. I mean, you've got to figure that out eventually. What mm -hmm. you're going to do about mm -hmm. the but you've got to start somewhere, and this seemed like a good place to start. Mm -hmm. And it's all of these things we talked about are little things. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no big, big, but there's a lot of little things that save mm -hmm. this town. And everybody in here is a tax, well, she's not, but, but mm -hmm. all taxpayers. Mm -hmm. And if you keep, if you don't pay attention to mm -hmm. that at some point, like it's gotten out of hand. I think it's gotten out of hand now. Mm -hmm. And it's about to take another week. Mm -hmm. And that we can work around or work mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, yeah, we got into buying equipment to do our own work instead of subbing 
you know, well, where you get just well, kind of, and that's expensive. I, yeah. I, I got another yeah. thing. I've been looking, I've been looking, I, and I found a, a tractor, 50 horsepower tractor in Maine, that's big enough to do the roadside mowing. Mm -hmm. And I found a second hand mowing machine, roadside mower, mm -hmm. for around $9,000. Mm -hmm. But my point is, you do your, see, what you guys come up with and everybody has come up with, for the last, Harry started this and mm -hmm. wanted a mowing machine to cut the brush with. Right. Doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Doesn't work. Right. You cut brush with a chainsaw and run it through that bore over there. Mm -hmm. You mow the roadsides. And if we have a, a, a decent tractor with a roadside mower on it that we mm -hmm. own mm -hmm. for less than $25,000, mm -hmm. a good piece of machinery, mm -hmm. you can mow those roadsides two or three times a year. When right. the guy's sitting and doesn't have anything to do, we own mm -hmm. that. We haven't got a lot of money invested in mm -hmm. it. And what Gary and Rip mowed the roadside two and three times a year and mm -hmm. kept. So we, the town did have its own tractor. Yes. Oh, okay. Had its own tractor that. with a little little mower. Tractor. Well, that's yeah, what that's what Ford Ford had a sickle bar mower. That sickle bar. And see what you guys have spent in the last it's a lot seven, of money. eight years. It's a lot of money. So it's serious. Take a look at it. What you're doing with it. that is a boom mower, and, mm -hmm. and you and you guys. I'm, I'm not blaming anybody. Just you don't know the difference because you don't do it. But what happens is... Did they have a sickle bar mower before? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, oh. what, what, you could, what I found was a good disc mower that's made with an extender mm -hmm. on it to do mm -hmm. yeah, With a reach out and something's yeah, made not to a do bolt. it. Yeah. You don't need that. That's, right. that's $40,000 that you don't need because right. you need to cut brush with a chainsaw. Mm -hmm. All I did, <clears throat> the year that you had David Quake over here, and he rented that bigger rig with a flail mm -hmm. on it, I picked up brush in the road for two days. Right, it it all Yeah, I shuck it. That was my fear. But it leaves a mess, and it, it's not the proper way to do it. And all mm -hmm. you need to do is mow back the roadside. Mm -hmm. And you cut brush, you go cut brush. Mm -hmm. We got a wood chip over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and that just gets into the organization. We'll talk that's, about but how that's to, my how. point. Is, is I got a way. I found I can I can find this stuff, and I will and I will help you guys find this stuff if you're interested. Mm -hmm. And we can put up. You know, we can save a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Twenty thousand. Still, still do all the work. They still do all the work. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially with the manpower you've got, mm -hmm. if you can get them to agree to do a few of these things, mm -hmm. like that wood chipper you got. When was the last time it was even used? It doesn't use much at all. Yeah. You know, yeah. And that's a shame. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, you own it, mm -hmm. yeah. and put a cruise. I could go around, and I, I did two days ago. I was nothing to do, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm getting old and seeing I don't have a better life. But I, I can, I can, I can take the guys and show them. You can cut brush for weeks and weeks and weeks. Mm -hmm. You realize that Rip Brown, into his late seventies, and Gary Ewan, they cut ten to fourteen cord of wood a year on the roadside. Mm -hmm. Since. Harry took over there and not cut one stick. Right. So think about that. Mm -hmm. So how much brush? That's brush and wood. They, they cut firewood. Trees and logs. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. yeah. You know, so everything. And that's what happened. You mm -hmm. see, all that stuff has come back in mm -hmm. in the last 10 years. And you can't do it all at once. You've got to do mm -hmm. it. Yeah. You can't do it with that flail. You can't do it with that flail. All that yeah. does, it doesn't even begin. Just tears it. Just inside. makes a mess. And so you've got to have a plan. That's where that plan yeah. comes in. You've got to do yeah. so many miles of brush cutting a year. Do the worst, mm -hmm. Doing the worst spots, and then you've got a wood, you've got a chipper that's sitting over there. Mm -hmm. You've got the manpower. You've got chainsaws. You've got people mm -hmm. that just need to be mm -hmm. have direction. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess that's. I probably got a whole bunch. I got of it written down, so we'll work on this yeah. stuff. Yeah. We'll work Can we go back to the grader for a minute? Yeah. Is there a greater class that these guys yes, can take? Yes, I think we are. need to do. Or do you need to get no. an old time person yeah, that has... I'm the old time person that needs yeah. I went to the class. Uh huh, you did? Yeah. They didn't offer one this year that I know of. No, and, but let me tell you. Yeah. Take okay. All right, first of all, I want you to go out and, and write around the state of Vermont. How much dirt roads does the state of Vermont have? Right, the state itself, right. No. Their class on the greater is they... Uh, it's a video. And oh. a talk by a guy that can't spell greater. And it's, he's got some good points. There are a few things, but he does not. There's only one way. There's no hands-on. The only one way to learn to run a machine, that's to drive it, right. use and, it. 
And <clears throat> the instruction, I know a well, be pretty well. I have to do the AGC classes yeah. down there. Mm -hmm. And that's where they go to take these classes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I watched the video. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a probably, but most, probably 60, 65, 70% of what they teach them is wrong. Mm -hmm. Because the guy that made the video, he's a salesman. He's a, mm -hmm. a greater salesman. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. He's not a greater operator. Right. And it's, there's only one way. And I'd be more than willing to take these guys. There's mm -hmm. a lot of things that need to be done. It'd be mm -hmm. simple. Oh, you don't get in it with them and do that. Mm -hmm. You go and tell them, this is what, do, do whatever they're going to do. Mm -hmm. and, then, and when they get done, you go and see what they've done and tell them what they need to do different. Mm -hmm. that's, and that's how you teach somebody. Mm -hmm. You don't stand there and watch a video or stand there with a pointy stick. Mm -hmm. I even got Bill so he could be pretty good with the grader. And Harry learned, guess how Harry learned? By getting in it. Mm -hmm. he, when he came here, yeah. he couldn't run that and he could drive it. Yeah. Like, like Greg Parker, he cannot run grading. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't, because I don't know why. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not here to speculate that. Mm -hmm. And so Harry took it away from him. Mm -hmm. Because that was what he, Harry, hired Greg Parker to do, to come here and run later. Well, that was pretty evident after the first two years that that was all working. So Harry, but Harry got pretty good at it. Yeah. But Harry would listen a little bit. And that's how you learn. Mm -hmm. And there again, I'd be more than willing to mm -hmm. spend his weekends, nights, evenings. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do it. I want to, any time I do it, I want to make sure anybody sure. That's Parker's thing, I think, is against me, is he thinks I'm going to take his job. Well, I don't want a job. I had a job, I don't want it. I got mm -hmm. a job. Mm -hmm. That's not my point. Mm -hmm. And I'd be more than willing to help mm -hmm. her husband would be a perfect example. Mm -hmm. He wants to learn, he wants to do this thing, take him and teach him. Mm -hmm. He can go to all the classes he wants to, but mm -hmm. until you get in it right. and do it and make mm -hmm. mistakes, because mm -hmm. guess how you fix it? You make a mistake, you, you fix, you fix it. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bill Condon has said the same thing to me at the shop a number of times that they're not doing a good job. He could teach them himself better because Bill says he got really good on the grader. No, too. Right. Yeah. He didn't. He couldn't run it uh, yes. when he came to work mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Three months, I had him so he was doing a decent job because mm -hmm. I'd make him go do it. He'd go do it, and he, if he did it wrong, I made him go do it over and make yeah. him mm -hmm. and tell him this is what you did wrong. Go back and mm -hmm. do it. Well, you'll be surprised. He's always stopping down saying, if you guys would let me in this weekend, I'd go fix these roads for these guys. <laughs> can't do it, Bill. No, no, we can't do that. But anyway, I've taken up your time. And, okay, well, thank, and, thank and you for I'm, giving us your time. I'm, uh, like I said, I'm here to help, and I, and, I'm more than, and I want you to pass that on to those guys. I'm okay. not here to cause them. Right. Well, they, you. They'll probably watch this, so. Well, that's fine, but I'm not here that. to cause you trouble either. Right. Mm -hmm. That's not my point. My point mm -hmm. is that I think there's some, there's some room to save some money, and I mm -hmm. think this is the best way we got to start someplace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this seems like a starting point to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Excellent. And I'm Sounds willing good. to give and you. If there's anything that we can get better at, I think we owe it to the town to get better mm -hmm. at it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, yeah. We're all taxpayers. You're going to yeah. see the benefit just like mm -hmm. yep. I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, all, it's all in our best interest. Mm -hmm. And it's like I said before, um, we all want a lot of things, but we need them. Mm -hmm. and I think that's right. perfect thing to mm -hmm. remember. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it's kind of simplistic, but well, it's kind of the old Vermont way. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and we've gotten away from it here. I mean, I've been here a long time, mm -hmm. and I've seen mm -hmm. what's what's happened, and mm -hmm. I don't agree with a lot of it. But mm -hmm. we we're, we're at the position that that doesn't matter anymore. We're not mm -hmm. there. We're at we're, we're at we're where we're at now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the only way we can fix it, and I think now, is to make some changes. And they mm -hmm. don't have to be massive. Nothing's, mm -hmm. nothing's mm -hmm. uh, a grotesque here. It's yeah. just a whole litany of little things that could mm -hmm. save a lot of money over time. Mm -hmm. And I think you would find, and I think the town crew would find, that once they find out how to do things uh, in a better way, they'll have more pride in what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's important. It is, and I know it's important to them too. I mean, they, I think, you know, they want to do a good job, and yeah. they, they're, you know, and, and um, in some ways they are. But, but I, I agree, it would help to that there needs to be some, some learning. 
Yeah, and well, and I, what we talked about, management, I think, is a lot of it. Just mm -hmm. got to figure out somehow. None of us have that, so that's something we got to right. figure that's out. That's something yeah. you got to figure out. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I'm more than willing to help mm -hmm. any way I can, okay. but I don't, I didn't come into this looking to start a fight with anybody or, okay. or cause trouble. Understood. I'm trying yeah. to cure some problems okay. that I've been looking at for a long time. You mm -hmm. and I talked about it two or three years ago. Mm -hmm. And it's gotten worse. Mm -hmm. And that's... you got to turn it around. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and I I have the time and the wherewithal and to help you guys. And I got to, it just seems to me like you guys are receptive to it. Mm -hmm. And if you need to ask me anything, you know, I've got a phone with you know. Okay, yeah. And you're in the book. Yeah. Yeah, we'll make sure you get the right name. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're not retired. You haven't retired yet. You're still going back. I'm Mike. retired. Yeah. <laughs> Mike said that. <laughs> no, I'm going to work. We'll go back next summer. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm going to let the phone company know to get your name right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to work. But I'm uh, in the summer. I'd be available weekends and yeah. afternoons. I only work nine, ten hours a day. Yeah. In the summertime, if you've got mm -hmm. somebody that wants to, mm -hmm. to learn, I'm more than willing to give them. Yeah. And. I'll do this. I don't. I'm not doing this to make money. I'm doing this mm -hmm. to. I'll help the town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the potential. Is maybe even our subs would love to take advantage of. I think we like need. This. To, that's what I said. Rather, we yeah. can teach them all. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you never know who you're going to keep. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And my whole thing is these young guys, the subs, they're young because you're mm -hmm. just talking. Those two guys that are over there, the, the two Gregs are getting up in age. Right. Mm -hmm. Greg, Greg Adams will be retiring next fall, yeah. as far as I know. Well, so. that may not be sold. That may okay. not be. All right. We talked with him and he yeah. about that. Okay. Now that's, that's, that's his business and I'm not yeah. going to stop it. But, his but, business, yeah. but what I'm getting at is you've got some people that want to work here mm -hmm. and it's a lot easier to train them and teach them what you want to do than it is to try to find somebody mm -hmm. from outside and then mm -hmm. find out six months or a year that they're not working out and then you got to do it again. Because right. we've got good people, I think. It's we do have just good training them. Yeah. We have so that they want to. To me, that's. And I'm more than willing to do that. I've done okay. a lot of it, mm -hmm. and for 50 years, and I'm more than willing to help. This, mm -hmm. this doesn't. This helps everybody it's mm -hmm. in town. Mm -hmm. And right. that I'm going to leave. Well, thank <laughs> you. Man. I took more than I took more That's than right. 15 we'll minutes. Discussion. That's okay. <laughs> we'll let you get away. We left um, a little room. <laughs> put, put, put me down for next week. Uh, two weeks. Next two weeks. Okay. Okay. Actually, we want to meet in two weeks. Do we want to take a break? What day of the week? Well, we're doing the budget on. Well, we're going to be doing the budget to the 12th yeah. and the 19th. Yeah. You're saying the 23rd. Yeah, do we want to? I would prefer not to. 23rd, yeah, that's right before Christmas. Yeah, we can yeah. skip that one. Yeah. So, in January? 13th would be the okay. first meeting. All right. Because the yeah, next two, we're going to be doing the budget. Yeah, we're going to be doing the budget. That'll give me a whole pile of stuff to add to. All right. Okay, there you go. <laughs> that's a so our next meeting is today. today. Thank you. Yeah. Today's yeah. the night, so we'd be skipping the 23rd and yeah. going to the 13th. We'll give day. ourselves a little Christmas break. Okay, so that's, that's, a, whole, that's, a, whole okay. that's a whole month off, though. Yeah. But we'll, we're going to be meeting the 12th and the 19th for we, budget meetings. Yeah, so. we can do so we could, some bill signing and stuff. We, yeah. We'll check with Brandy and we'll see. We'll see. We'll have to make that decision. See if she'll let us get away with it. Because we are going to be here. It's just a matter of... Yeah, and then you also have your meeting on the 10th of January, too. Right, we're focusing right. on the uh, budget, really. Yep. So what's you, the 10th for? The spur. The spur. The road spur. Because, okay. yeah. right. again, if there were people that needed to speak with us, we could right. allow a little time for those two mm -hmm. meetings. That way we yeah. aren't so far, because it's a long way. Right. Yeah. We can meet. I mean, we could just maybe make it short as that's true. Sure. We can leave it open. If, if such a thing is ever possible. Sometimes <laughs> yeah. it is, but usually it happens by uh, you aren't expecting. Oh, we're all done already? Done. <laughs> okay, so moving on. Um, Brandy, we're ready for the town treasurer. That was a pretty good discussion with Lynn tonight. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and I think it's opened up with dialogue with the other folks. I think it really needs mm -hmm. that, that suggestion of bringing people in one at a time talking. Mm -hmm. Nothing wants to be imposed on anybody because none of us would receive that very well. Right. Right. Thank you. So until um, Tom does the bank recs for November, it's going to show that our money market is a negative number um, until mm -hmm. it's until he moves 
Uh -huh. Bank racks. Right. Because of the big, big bills that we've been paying. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the last two weeks in delinquencies, we've taken in um, $5,236.88. I can give that to you. Okay. Um, in cash receipts, um, there was library donations, adopt an author, um, copies at cost, dog licenses, which we're doing really good, um, land records, recording, was a big one for $9.45, uh, land copies, 13 and then zoning permits, one zoning permit. So. Um, back, I couldn't even tell you, back maybe September, I went to a BLCT workshop at um, the Capitol Plaza, mm -hmm. and Mike Gilbar, who is the Chief Financial Officer um, at BLCT, mm -hmm. um, spoke, and so I sent him an email saying, can you come? Mm -hmm. Yes, but he needs to check with their attorney. Uh -huh. Before he comes. Okay. Um, but he did agree to come and. Sounds like he'll be a good down. person to have come, yeah. Yeah, and get that finalized. So it's not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So hopefully I can get him to come in. Even possibly it would be great if I could get him to come um, this Thursday. Is it, or is it this week we have a yeah, meeting? Yeah, it's this Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. It is this yeah. Thursday. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Time sneaks um, up on you. And so the other thing I was, I sent it after last select board meeting, um, finalizing the fuel contract, <coughs> mm -hmm. I sent an email to Gillespie's, mm -hmm. um, but she hasn't bound me back a contract because I wanted it signed by the board tonight, mm -hmm. but um, I haven't received anything from her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So other than that, me and Diana are working, we just finished the government budgeting portion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, with our yeah. estimates. Okay. So I'm going to try to meet with Greg Wednesday morning. We'll go over the highway. The highway. The highway. Yeah. Um, so can you assemble that one too? The yes. highway budget. Okay. We, we do it. He can print it and then he goes over it. Okay. Yeah. I'm we'll go, we'll go over, over it and then, and then um, Greg and I'll go over it and then we'll sit down and go over it too. Perfect. Um, I wanted to talk about the um, the Buck Lake Cabot Road repair because I, I assume that you still have it paid. Um, yeah, I have. You have paid. It's done. Okay, I okay. printed out. So Shana's. you had your meeting with that. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I, okay. Had, I had I uh, had emailed Shauna, mm -hmm. and um, she bounced me right back what she had sent to you. Yeah. yeah. And um, I printed out, stuck in the thing, and I sent the the check right out. Great. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Uh, made copies. It's in the binder. So when we do finalize. Um, mm -hmm. Sit down with. Yeah, I need to sit down yeah. now and put put together. A and then we can it. get that grant cleared up also. Yeah. Yeah. So we have two grants. Yeah. And then we yeah. Have that. Yeah. Um. yeah. Once I get this grant application done, which it's pretty much. I'm going to send you a couple time. pictures. I have yeah. the pictures you're okay. for when you need okay. it by. Well, I'd like to I, try to do it. Tomorrow. The deadline is Friday. Okay, I'll get it done tomorrow. Yeah, I'm meant to do it today. Yeah. I got home too late. So. Yeah, those, those get those two reports done so we can get some. Someone yep. to us. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I didn't have to do a transfer of money today. Um, yeah. So I'll be um, I'll be putting out a warning for the, the, the I'll call them special budget meetings. Budget meetings, yeah. Um, so we'll have 24-hour notice. So if you have a sense of whether the VLCT guy can mm -hmm. come, um, I'll give him a jingle tomorrow. Uh, just let me know. He needs to talk to us about her stuff. Yeah, we're just he's talking about? trying to figure out yeah. how to deal with this reserve fund. Okay, yeah, whether like, I'm putting in, whether we right. put in the highway a capital reserve uh, uh, item line and then transfer that. Right. And just so I just so was going to pass on that I did call the league mm -hmm. and talk to somebody there and doing what you just suggested is legal to do. And then she sent me the statutes regarding Mm -hmm. the, I'll give them to you because I can just print them offline, but the, the use of unexpended uh, funds and then the, uh, mm -hmm. the highway funds, the like special right account, yeah. basically saying that what I said when you, essentially this is when the town voted to set this fund, once you mm -hmm. put the money in it, it's limited to only that use. Yeah. 
the other one was use of unexpended balances. So if you were to have a carryover mm -hmm. in the highway budget, budget right. so where the danger of leaving money in there for a fund, um, it says that anything, this is what the, I'm reading right from the statute, mm -hmm. this is any fund, the funds raised from the town highway taxes shall not be used for any purpose other than that for which the tax was voted, subject to the provisions of this chapter. If in any year money so voted is not expended, it shall be applied to the same purpose the following year. Right. So any carryovers, you have to get 50000 you have oh, to yeah, deduct it, it from, yeah. yeah. So I think you knew that, but I just... So so I my did thing talk with, to him. with Mike is also to. If you want these or care, you can print them offline. The three percent carryover. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we're going to have to establish in the highway a capital reserve, so we estimate it and we budget. So it's mm -hmm. not we have um, like we've done in the past the HERF ninety thousand mm -hmm. because the payments are coming out. There needs to be the SX the 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 extra. For instance, ninety thousand, right. and we only have two bills, two payments out of mm -hmm. that. So it's hypothetically, fifty thousand. So we would to carry budget over. Yeah. So we'd be in that capital. Yeah. Right. So what? what that's, I, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, and I asked her about this. So what she said is, if you're making payments, or was it he actually? She was on a different issue. Mm -hmm. If you're making payments, you you budget the payment money mm -hmm. for the trucks. Those are, and those are itemized. Those have come right out of the highway. And, and budget. that and extra then you would money so will go to the right. still be in there. Yep. Yeah. But it makes it's in the capital, sense. it's in a yeah. capital what item this, line. What this says is it says that um, at an annual special meeting... You're still budgeting it, and it's still a Right, so a municipally established reserve fund, and it says the reserve fund shall be kept in a separate account and invested as other public funds. It may be expended for such purposes for which the established, which established, or when authorized by a majority voters to change it. So she's saying it would be a separate bank account. Right, I get that transfer. part, but just mm -hmm. to get it in the highway for mm -hmm. estimating, mm -hmm. yes, it needs to have a line, a capital line. Correct, and, and that's, then that's we can we're in agreement because it, it would have a, its own. We could would, budget for it. It would say it would know what we right. would be spending. What it would say? Say it's fifty thousand. Right. It would say fifty thousand so for the part, herf, and then at yeah, some point you perfect. transfer the money into at that. Least that part is accountable for, mm -hmm. and then yes. whatever S, correct. Whatever. So I think S we're in agreement. Yeah. Then it can and be then we just got to figure out how to account for the money that gets put into different, the different funds from Swenson. And maybe right. Mike we could help us the with budgets. that. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. To, have, you know, to have it be clear in the town report that we're getting this and money I'm from Swenson. And I'm putting the Excel spreadsheet here. in to, to show. Um, Excellent. Yeah, I think, well, I we think get it sounds in, like we're getting We're there, yeah. yeah which funds it goes into. Mm -hmm. and That's why I had to pull these statues so I could read them and say it's right. pretty explicit, right. which you can and can do. Yeah. So making sure that I have the, the Swenson chart in there and then a do to, do from, so we see all the balances. Yes, yeah. Yeah. At the yeah. end of. Yeah. Like you're doing a good job. Mm -hmm. Great. Other than that, um, it's kind of slow right now. <laughs> we have lots of filing. <laughs> it's like me writing fire I'd reports, like a week's of it to do. <laughs> Sitting in an office is not my favorite thing to do. Hurry. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Diana, I'm set for you. Hello. Hello. Well, I had an extra half a day last week and I started getting some of my recording caught up. You don't have to write that down. Okay. okay. You, write that down. <laughs> you said it. I get a little behind, but you know, well, like I said, all I need is another week in December. Uh, so. Between that and starting to get stuff together for the town report coming right up. But that's that. Until we move on to the next project. It's happening. It is. We were all over there watching. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. oh, was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. uh, the bad news that came in on Friday was they found some additional asbestos. Mm -hmm. Which I kind of guessed because I saw them putting a tarp over them. Like, oh, right. that can't be good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you took off without even coming over. Oh, I just looked over there over. like, whoa. <laughs> well, it was weird. I mean, I didn't go and look over because I didn't feel yeah. like climbing over there. But they found the, uh, the blue board under the 
floor in the very back of the newer section had some vermiculite glued to it. Mm. I know. And some old stuff that they and found I, and used then. Well, it's just weird though. But yeah. Yeah, so I don't know if all the vermiculite was glued. If it was, it seems like that would be encapsulated and mm. not friable. But, you know, How whatever. How do you glue vermiculite? Yeah, isn't that weird? <clears throat> It's very strange. I only saw one piece of the guy brought over that was blue board with a bunch of vermiculite glued onto it. Not like an inch or anything. Hmm. Never heard of it. So anyways, they, uh, the good news is um, I wrote, sent that information to uh, Lauren Oates and her boss Ben Rose. Lauren isn't working there anymore, mm -hmm. but she's still helping because mm -hmm. Ben, you know, her boss doesn't. It's taking over in the meantime, I noticed that they're advertising for her job. Mm -hmm. But the state never hires somebody in a timely manner. No, it takes forever. Yeah. So that they can get trained by the previous person. No, that's not going to No, they'll be in three months after that person yeah. leaves. So anyways, <laughs> by Saturday I had a note from both of them that there is some more money. So oh, good. getting that covered. Oh, good. And I just now got this estimate from the additional. Ten thousand seven hundred eighteen dollars. So okay. Yeah. So it looks like the state might have funds to cover that. Right. Okay. Yeah. Or the FEMA. Or FEMA. Yeah. Yeah. Surprise. Yeah. So that's good. I was worried that it would be a lot more than that. When are they coming back? Do you know? Wednesday, I believe. Wednesday. Yeah, and I talked to Tim about, and well, Bert from Catamount Environmental wanted to contact information for Tim, so. Mm -hmm. Got in that. One thing I'm wondering is, um, should we be asking Blue Mountain Excavation for change orders for the 5% more that they wanted for having to wait and work in the winter and then yeah, and now for these specials? Yeah, they're not, they're yeah. not, you know, extremely, they're not like a law firm, you know, that's doing paperwork all the time. Right, I know. It's just simply <laughs> write out an estimate right. and we agree yeah. to it. So that's right. I gave you a form they could use, and that's right. it. mm -hmm. it's just right. basically making it clear. The, so you know, the, uh, nobody's no surprises at the end. Amendment, mm -hmm. the first amendment to the contract was to uh, when they decided to take away the stream restoration money, mm -hmm. they had to give us money to, mm -hmm. you know, to topsoil the site and put this okay. set fences up along the stream and all that. that <clears> been, <throat> that's been done. It, I mean, that's been signed by both parties, and this is uh, Yeah, I think it just dealing with FEMA would be good, it would be good to have. And also, she's also, Lauren there. sent me a form to send to them with the changes. Right, I figured know. everybody else would have this. Yeah. I mean, even yeah. just what they did, this is fine. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, right. as long as you know what you got, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, do you... Mm. Are they going to do some stream bank work this no, summer? That no, was no, all, no, no, that was all the money that they took away. Okay, yeah. yeah. So we just have so to hope that what's there, there. there. Well, they're going to open it up, right? It's going to be the It'll stream be with whatever siding is in there now. Yeah, with, the, with the stone. Because you can there. see from the stream right into the store. So. Yep. But they'll they're peel. They're peeling the whole top off right. and opening it up. Yeah. Right. And then they'll smooth all the site out. And, and if the, and if there is stuff that looks like it's going to fall in, you know, we have our ten yard. We can take ten yards. So we could pay him while he's there to even do the lower part if we wanted to. Right. The lower part. Well, we've got. Material in the little brook on the other side that needs to come yeah, out. from the flooding this May. Yeah. We, we may want to talk to him with his machine yeah. sitting there. If he's got to clean that little bit, he can clean the next little bit. You know what I mean? On the other side of Route 14? Yeah. yeah. You can't go in there. That's not. Well, we, we can. can that's a state project. Permit. That's a state as long, Well, as long as we don't take more than 10 yards, we're, we're okay. It's mm -hmm. out of the state right away. Yeah. It is. Yep. Yeah, it's oh, from, okay. so from the washout. This yeah. Yeah. filled it up. It came out, and then it goes up. I was hoping that you know, I I don't hold out much hope that the state will actually nope. get let right me, around to replacing let, those colors. Let, let me share. Yeah, no, he does have yeah. something to share. Yeah. Yep. Um, so when I met with uh, Shauna and Jaron Borg um, yeah. Friday to to um, meet with Ron Rathburn. Um, Shauna told me mm -hmm. that VTrans has included. Um, the culvert, changing the culvert um, under Route 14 with a, f a FEMA grant that they're applying for. Yeah. So she said, you know how long it takes FEMA to, but mm -hmm. they are including it, they're they including that it. work in, um, mm -hmm. so when it'll happen, so I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we we waited work. five years. So. <laughs> so, yeah, so this sounds good. When they open that right. up, it's going yeah. to solve 90% of the problem. I think so. And then, uh, the I mean, they could, they could clean that culvert out. 
Yeah, right. I, I, I think we talked about saying clean that channel, yeah. clean the ends of the culvert. Yeah, the metal the culvert channel. is half full of, yeah. even if we, maybe even more now. Well, even if we need summer. to pay a little extra to get it done, yeah. that it's going to have to be done this now or next mm -hmm. summer. So, Because yeah. I guarantee you under there is full of stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I haven't crawled in it for that. Well, one of us wants to go. <laughs> one of us could talk to him on a separate yeah, contract. Yeah, you might probably get under, so get under there before that. it gets too cold. Oh, that's right. You'll feel it. You won't have to get under it pretty soon. No, no. Then once he opens it, it's really, it just it's a really simple deal. <laughs> right. If he needs to just clean the bottom of that channel out, he's right there mm -hmm. sitting yeah. on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So one of us could talk to him. Yeah. I can. You can. So, yeah, so is this something that we should prove and sign tonight, or yeah, is it just? Yeah, could. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's going to happen. It's got to happen. Wednesday, so I don't think so. we have any choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's all sitting there. It's and this is for the well. asbestos removal. That's for the additional, additional asbestos. Okay. That they found on the. So I would make a motion that we approve the um, change order scope of work to remove the additional asbestos that was found last Friday, to the price of ten thousand seven hundred eighteen dollars. That's anticipated to be paid for by yes. FEMA. FEMA, yeah. And we'll we'll pay it and get reimbursed. We'll have twenty five percent. Will be ours. Right. Yeah. So Still second. should be good. Yep. All in favor? Aye. 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 This is one of those no choice deals. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I guess this is where you should sign the township side. Yeah. 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 You are authorized to do it. Yeah. Okay. Do you, I mean, you could sign it, I suppose. No, you've been of, signing all right. this stuff. Okay. <clears throat> so, and could you let them know that we would like a this, this same kind of document for the 5% increase that okay. they wanted to get. Yeah. We're fine with giving them that, but we mm -hmm. just need a you know, similar. And I was going to try to find that uh, tire recycling guy who gets our tires of um, I can get you. Day, but we can't, we couldn't find it. I can, Paul here. Council oh. can get us. Paul might the, know him. Because they, yeah. just come yeah. they okay. deal with them on the Rather than putting it through the contract. Yeah, just, I think it's easier. It just, would, yeah. still could be part of our FEMA expense. Yeah. yeah. today is 12, 9, um, So I'm just going to write the town address for everyone. Yeah. If Field I can box. remember it. Field box 10. Field box 10. Okay. <laughs> Number stick. Good berry. Mm. Easy enough. Five six eight one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um. So you were going to talk about that Tram Green Mountain Transit. Whether yeah. Um, you want to petition that? So um, this is the uh, notice that came, um, and this is for fiscal year or next fiscal year twenty one, um, where we would. Um, and there is a, the town does have a policy of any new uh, appropriation that would be warned in the town um, mm -hmm. meeting agenda that um, that the, the entity uh, petitions to get it to get a um, five percent, I believe it is, of the town um, to sign a petition in order for it to be on the yeah. warning. Well, it sounds like that looks like that's what they expect. So yeah, so yeah. maybe yeah. Brian can take one of those. Yeah, uh, so five hundred dollars. We don't Did we get any other last year. Not from these people. Not from these no, guys. we okay. we. These are new. This is the they asked group. when we first met with them. Yeah. Um, you know that we we talked about giving them an appropriation for this fiscal year, fiscal yeah. year twenty. Um, really. But and then we decided not to. We kind of wanted to wait and see. Yeah, because they did talk about yeah. petition back then. I don't yeah. Know, really yeah, we talked about. about yeah, you, yeah. In that conversation, yeah. you talked about whether or not you were going to require a petition. Yeah. We can just put it on by statute if we choose. We, to. we could, but there is there is a. Uh, I know there's a town policy. Policy. If mm -hmm. I, it's not in accordance with statute, we could choose. To do it. Uh -huh. We're not saying we should. Mm -hmm. We're saying right. we could. We could. Statute but, says. But, uh, yeah, the, but the other one, the. What do they call it? Central Ron Trans. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm not suggesting it just. has to be treated like a non profit, so these yeah. people probably should be too. Yeah, they are non profit. Yeah. I, I mean, but yeah. Yeah. We should, just to keep the auditors yeah. happy. No, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not one of those bills I want to die on. I just was right. pointing out that if you read the statute, the statute says the board can yeah. do any okay. of these yeah. if they okay. want at any time. 
Well, maybe if we don't get the number of so what I'm just, saying, just so you're aware that it does say that. It's okay, like okay. You can, yeah. you can, the petition part is yeah. so that it could be done if the board chooses not to do it. Okay. And the voters put and it on the board. The board last year with the Center for Vermont Economic yeah. Development Council. Yeah. Some kind of a yeah, because someone could bad. come in and if we just agree and say, yeah, we'll put that on. Especially mm -hmm. since we don't have a place to put a petition anymore. Except right. That's why I just, that's, I, I read that policy. I just don't like it because it doesn't agree with statute. And we, can't and we, have do, we do have people in town using using yeah. taking advantage of this. So. Yeah. But um, the, the few people that use it, whether it right. be five or ten, mm -hmm. aren't we'll enough to make it happen. Right, right. and that's the, the issue. Are they can come in. Yeah. We, we so, all agree. Right. The three of us are two out of the three. We can just put it on. If they right. if they disagree, then they have the option of going and getting a petition. Then we have to put it on. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So. Anyway, I'm not saying okay. die on the hill here. Well, just bring it up. I'm fine either way. Could be an issue in the future. Yeah, I would be amazed if we could get enough signatures. Really? Yeah, just because if, it, if you don't use them, you're not going to care. Well, one, the other one, one way of putting it out there is us for us to gauge some interest. I mean, we have right. a month about we right, could, when, mm -hmm. when does the article have to be Get some people to pound the pavement. Yeah. And I'll, I'll, take, I'll take yeah, it up there and see what I can get for so numbers. We need one here. Just in case we don't get the numbers, we just be ready to. Why don't we make some copies? We could have them here at the town office. I think it's worthy to vote on. Yeah. yeah, but the voters should get to weigh in on this mm -hmm. myself. Well, that way they can. Callus make... store would be a good place to put one as well. Would that? Would it matter if it was a Callus? No, as long as people know that they it's only for Woodbury, Woodbury voters. Right. Okay, so that would be the confusion. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. this is just one of those issues. I think it's a good issue that I think people would like to look at. It's just going to be difficult for us to go get the signatures unless somebody wants to run around. You can do it okay. digitally too. No, yeah. how do you do have... that? Can on we do it on our website? Yes. But they can't oh sign God. on the website, can no, they? Yeah, no. Oh, there might, I don't know. You can link it to a document. Why don't we, why don't we try yeah. it? That's yeah. what the website's for. It. Yeah, you can put it on there. Yeah, that would that might get more people. Don't worry about it. You're outside of my box. I was going to say that's no. how the realtors have you do all your paperwork. Yeah, I signed my loan um, online. Yeah. Yeah. The federal IRS lets me sign my tax return. So, Laura, is that something you want to investigate? Could, if it's legal, yeah. it's legal. I, yeah. it I don't know anything legal. about it. Yeah, I know that our website gets so much traffic. Probably well, it you know probably <laughs> doesn't, but but it's one. It's another avenue. It's an option. Yeah. But we have a couple of more meetings we could make a right. decision. To, yeah. So you can just, you know, we can leave Fire this up here. No. There's 20 and people over there. Yeah, I'll bring. <laughs> now, is that something you can put on front porch forum saying we have this? You yes. could, yeah. And I, I will do that. I will, make, I will do a... Because yeah. that story. sort of helps us gauge in the, the interest. Right. Right. But I'd hate to be that it didn't get on, and then why do we get to vote on this? Because you guys didn't tell us. Like, we tried. <laughs> well, that, that's the thing. At our town meeting, people don't do this much anymore, but they used to. These organizations would send somebody to answer questions. Correct. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of got to be mm -hmm. pro forma and they didn't bother right. to do that anymore. Yep. But maybe these people will actually send someone so they can tell people about the service because right. people don't know about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, they know from uh, Some uh, people do. Green Center from uh, this, what are they called? Center Green Mountain Park. Transit? RCT. Yeah, our, no, this is our CT. Yeah, I'm thinking about the one in Montpelier. It used to be they, wheels. I don't know if it's yeah, still no, is or not. No, it's not. GMTA. GMTA, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. They do a lot that's, of that's, other services rather than just a bus route. You know, they take people right. to doctor's appointments and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's Green Mountain Transit. Yeah. yeah. And, and they get uh, something less than, I mean, they ask for 400, some right. odd amount, anyway. So. Right. Well, let's maybe we could make a few blank copies, and yeah. I mean, I've, I've signed one, and I'm willing to kind of knock on doors in the village. So, in fact, Ellie was supposed to sign them, but she hadn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Um, I'm not sure how many writers I know Dan's girlfriend. Dan I think Dan there's three or four. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah, she's pretty happy with From it. From Woodbury. Yeah, yeah there's um, a woman who walks down Foster Hill. I'm, a couple mornings when I'm out shoveling snow, she's on her way down to get on oh, really? the bus. Oh, very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll make a couple them. copies of these. Yeah, I'll take one up with me. Okay. Yeah. So, so there's a, another petition issue. Um, I don't know when this happened, but a few years ago we started putting the food shelf in a separate category than yep. the other area organizations. Mm -hmm. If they want to ask for a little more this year, do they have to get a petition or can they just be... Uh, if they're already on. They're already on. They're already there. They're already there, I, but the, the policy says that if you want to ask for more, you have to do another petition. Wow. But we put them in a separate category because they are local. 
service. They're like us, they're a service organization. They, they, they did get more one year right from town meeting. That's true. Right, they didn't even ask yeah. for it. I think we should just put it on. Yeah. You know why, but you, okay, you know, you're an entity that's come. been supported historically in the town. Yeah, yes. if they want to so, stand uh, up and ask for a little yeah. bit more at the town meeting. Yeah, yeah. We'll they, can, they can ask for it when you put it in. Yeah. Put it in without getting I think we should just put okay. it in. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Make the auditors mad. I'm not trying to. Um, just, no, it's not the right thing. Not trying to. It's just some of this stuff is difficult for these organizations to do this. And it's, yeah. And make it really difficult. I understand both sides of the argument. It's just. Yeah, but sometimes it's too many. Correct. That's the problem. And I, I have an issue when a policy violates statute. Yeah. It's like when we have rules at the state that violates a statute. It's like the statute always holds mm-hmm. sway. Right. Because mm-hmm. if they took you to yeah. court, you're going to lose. They're going to say, well, mm-hmm. <laughs> you can say as a board you're not doing it because you're positive. That's okay. But that's just running people mm-hmm. through a process. Sometimes it's unnecessary. Yeah. But just smile. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. 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 All right, so um, I think we've pretty much gone to the town highway report. We've pretty much done the Buck Lake Brook Cabot. Uh, so that's there. all set, Ron. Right there, they, yeah, I'll just Ronnie be, got the voices. Uh, yeah, uh, Shauna Clifford yeah. and Jaron Borg um, met with uh, Ron Beth Byrne on Friday morning. I was there too. It was a good meeting. Um, you know, got to, Ron got to share um, got his to concerns. Walk up the we, brook. we walked up the brook on the right side of the you brook. Did. Perfect. Got, yeah, perfect. So. And I understand his concerns of basically, you know, what's been put down there um, is adding more oh, fodder true. to what's going to come down the, the Which brook. we all may be digging it out in a few right, years. Right. <laughs> and, you know, from hearing Ron talk, you know, there's, it seems like every time there's flooding, it's, there's always stuff coming down. It doesn't, beyond what, you know, they put down. So I can understand, um, and it seems like it's a yearly kind of management thing for him to just to try to protect the garage. Yep. His property, so. What about the trees and stuff like that? Does he have any requests for us to go up and well, you know, have I, the road I, group clean some I, of that I stuff? I asked out? him about that. I said, did you know? Did the town in the past kind of clean out the trees? And he did remember that you know that the town yeah. would do that. I, I don't. That's what he told me. He said the town used to clean. I was back in Rip and Gary. I can't remember. Yeah. I so I think that. I think a couple of things could alleviate some of his his concerns. One is the trees doing yeah. that. Mm-hmm. The second is in this spring, let's get those culvert bypasses put in in Jarvis's mm-hmm. driveway because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. that needs to be done. And he's mm-hmm. complained about that a couple of times. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's just well, something we overdue. need yeah. to do. And I think hire somebody just get mm-hmm. it done and be done because mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. it's not below the water line. They're supposed to be put in above right. the water. Well, they're just overflow. They're basically a catch up. Yeah. You know, overflow, overflow or to help. To try to keep the water from the He's, he's the mentioned that to me at least three times. Yeah. 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 And again, the last time I looked there, the water was right up yeah. level with the road. And if you'd had an overflow mm-hmm. culverts, it would have alleviated a lot yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah. And it would stop that huge rush of water if that breaks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I think that would really be the issue. Yeah, for that. Um, yeah, so, I'm, so I, I think, you know, and again, um, you know, Jaron and Ron got to talk about the. The rock, apparently underneath the smaller rock, there are some pretty substantial okay. sites. <clears throat> and, um, and, but and Jaron on um, board didn't, you know, mention that yes, you know, with flooding there are some of those smaller stones are going to yeah, okay. um, of course, yeah. Okay. Um, so Valley Lake Road, um, the grant is pretty much done. Um, Pictures you need for yeah, me. Needs a. So a few more pictures. I've been using some pictures from the stormwater master plan, um, and I had a call into Alan May. Just I wanted to talk to him a little bit about that because I've been using some of that information um, for the grant. Um, I went to take some pictures on Sunday, and I thought, well, it's going to melt here. You know, maybe if there's a little snow melting, it'll be a little more obvious um, what's there. But there are some actually when they did that stormwater master plan. There's some good photos. Um, that I can use from that. Um, so I just need to draw out a map um, and, uh, and I'm going to send it to Alan tomorrow and hopefully he'll have some time to review it and if there's anything that we can do to, um, to uh, spruce it up a little bit um, to, um, then we'll, we'll resubmit it. So we'll see what happens. Yep. Um, and what I, what I did Kind of, there was a question that kind of working on that grant has kind of come into my head. Um, you know, last at our last meeting we talked about um, another um, 
grant uh, writing a support or signing a support letter um, for um, two of the designs that were part of the stormwater master plan for the four sites in, in the village. Mm -hmm. Right at the moment we have received a grant for two of the sites, the site, uh, the school parking lot and the um, for an inf inf infiltration basin behind the annex that would help um, deal with the flow. Keep um, the stuff out of the out of the brook, brook yeah. Right. Um, and um, when I and then the other two are grants for a similar infiltration basin uh, between the post office and the fire station, mm -hmm. and then another uh, infiltration basin uh, from uh, that would catch water coming down from Church Street, and also water that comes down the lower part of the Cabot Road, the paved part that goes into those storm drains yep. and then runs into yep, Kingsbury Garage. Yeah. Um, so those those two. Um, full design plans, the grant um, that the Regional Planning Commission is wanting to submit um, that, that that letter of support was for. that. Those basically wouldn't cost the town anything but in kind. Um, I would go to a few meetings, um, the road crew might do a couple test pits, but that wouldn't cost the town anything. The other that we've already bet received um, would cost the town about $2,000 cash and then another roughly $2,000 again in kind, so the meeting with the designer. And I know, um, like last meeting, we decided to just kind of let it go and not do those things. Um, it would be of benefit to us with this grant that we're working on for better roads to have those kinds of things sort of in the future planning, you know, as future planning. Um, mm -hmm. Alan, uh, Pam to Andrea, who's been working on these grants, um, talked to Alan May. Um, you know, he told us that the catch basins would be fine, and and um, he's right in the fact that they would catch the actual road erosion, the yeah. gravel, um, but the phosphorus, et cetera, in the water um, would go right into the Kingsbury branch. Um, and a big part of all this stormwater stuff is trying to cut down on the phosphorus. Sure. Yep. In the water, not that our you know that beautiful wetland we have pretty much takes care takes of it. Takes care of the yeah, whole problem. Not yeah. coming from but there. they don't yeah. seem to. Yeah, they don't see it that way. They don't see yeah. it that way. So um, I've been kind of rethinking and sort of wishing that maybe you know it won't cost the town a lot of money. Maybe we should go ahead with these full designs. Um, they're just the designs. There's no commitment for the implementation. Um, you know, and the implementation, from my point of view, would only happen if there was grant money to pay for those to do it. And the town does not have the money yeah, to, pay to for those, those, yeah. pay for these things. Um, so we're just talking about a design right now. We're talking about. So my only concern is as long as it's not going to hold up our improvement on that road. It's not going to hold it up. Okay. No. In fact, the it may. Design, I don't have an issue with. Being able to say on the grant that. You know that we have, you know, we're in the process of getting the full designs, and there's a future plan for implementation. Would actually be a feather in our cap. Sure. Um, for the, and this work is preliminary. Because the decision so to actually put them in would be later. Would be later. When yeah. money, because yeah, I have yeah. other concerns yeah. that we want to talk so about. So we could still do in front of the fire department yeah. now this year. We would do we, we, we everything. Us, everything yeah. that we talked about doing, we would yeah. do. We, and we would put in the catch basins. Right. We put in. They, the, they would be. Yeah. Temporary until these right. infiltration basins right. would, would be put in place. Um, that would solve the problem temporarily. Yes, it would be an interim thing. Cause well, it solves our problem. It doesn't solve their <coughs> phosphorus problem. No, it doesn't. And it would. Which it's going to be. Problem, but it's their problem. Just yeah. knowing how these grants and how you know time. Yeah, I know. It'll be four or five years yeah. probably before. Um, mm -hmm. So we would have this in place to as a kind of a yeah. a band aid of sorts. Um, it would solve the erosion problem, um, hopefully. Um, yeah, that'd be including the paving up into the school parking lot, and yeah. in front of the annex building. Yeah, because that paving would be yeah. a separate project, but we would mm -hmm. dig that road yeah. up, and well, it could be if again if something Pike wants to look at, but right. you know, we may. Yeah. Are going to lower that road more this yeah, year? Yeah, that's part of, that's yeah. part of this yeah. grant. Yeah, because what I'm going to do is get. I'm just going to wait till after Christmas, and I'll get an engineer or somebody from mm -hmm. somewhere to draw up what we're going to do profile-wise if we're going to rearrange the end of the driveway or whatever mm -hmm. we're going to do and then yeah. 
that way yep. the property owners can all weigh in on it, and then yep. we'll, yep. You know, we'll have to let that out as a contract mm -hmm. of some kind. Yep. There's no grant money available, I don't believe, to to do that work. To do the, that design work before right. the paving, um, not that I'm aware or of. Or the work, actual digging and regrading right. of that road. Well, that's actually, that would be part of this grant. Yeah. Oh, if we got it. If we got it. Yeah. If we got it. Yeah. If not, and, we have to pay for it ourselves. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, doing the budget um, kind of factored in high, <coughs> high on it, just figuring, you know, if it does take more time than, than the road crew was thinking. You know, and it's, and, you know, I used Greg, gave me the ballpark figures, um, and, you know, we can still put it out to bid, and if somebody can do it for the same amount as what the road crew... Yeah, it just frees up. And I actually you know, did we'll, talk to Greg about this. He would prefer mm -hmm. not to do it. Okay, yeah. So we if would, I understood him correctly. Yeah, so we would get an amount, um, and we would estimate, you know, and then put out a bid, and then see if the, the bid would come yep. close to what we yeah. estimated. That we have. That's good. There's plenty of contractors around, and, mm -hmm. yep. and yeah. then we'll just admit it. All the gravel material will recoup, recover, and mm -hmm. need a place to store it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And this is for fiscal year 21, so um, you know we won't really hear whether we receive the grant until like March. Oh wow. Yeah. So um, you know, but then we would still have time to put it out to to mm -hmm. bid. Um, yeah. So. Um, Okay, so that that's gonna go in. Um, it's pretty much ready to go. It was kind of my weekend work. Um, what a great weekend! Yeah, <laughs> yeah that nice sunny weather. Um, I blew insulation in my attic. Yeah, yeah. probably had about equal amount of fun. So, um, with that said, um, we're good. You know, we've got we've received the grant for the two, but. Um, would we be willing to sign this letter of support for the other two full design grants and yeah. kind of changing our mind on from what? Yeah, for right? design, I don't see okay. an issue. Okay. So, yes, we'll all sign right here, I guess. I've heard put a date on it, too. Right. <laughs> I've been burned by that one before. and send it to them. Um, so, we met this past Saturday, um, a special select board meeting to discuss um, whether or not to, uh, um, well basically first to discuss the, the, the fact that the uh, survey um, that we had done for the spur at the top of the old quarry road um, has revealed to us that Part of that um, spur and the town right of way, the three rod right of way, is actually on um, somebody else's property also. Um, um, it's owned uh, by Roy Eastman and Linda Sheehy. Um, so we had we, the lawyer, our town lawyer, basically gave us three options to consider for how to proceed with this new, um, new information, new evidence um, from the survey. Uh, the first option was that we reopen the hearing that we had on October 9th, reopen or consider it a continuation of the hearing, um, properly warned to um, consider and uh, take in this, the new evidence from the survey and to lay out um, the piece of property uh, that the spur is on, um, the Eastman Shahi property. So that was option number one. The second option was to start from the beginning, just do the whole thing over again. Yeah. Um, and then the third option was to move the bit of spur, the road, um, a little bit more over onto, so that it would be totally onto Coleman Parker's property. Mm -hmm. And when we met on Saturday, I think we pretty much agreed that the first option was the, the one that we wanted to pursue. Yeah. So, um, so we've, I've written up a new warning. Um, Basically, just kind of modifying the, the old warning. Um, 
that we need to approve tonight and um, we'll need our town clerk to be a test to it and um, and then we can send the uh, the warning out for um, we have to warn it for a month so um, the date that we're warning for the new uh, reopening of the hearing will be um, January 10th so we'll warn it, put the warning out tomorrow December 10th um, and we'll be good for 30 days um, and uh, and we'll go from there we'll see yeah. see what happens um, so um, I would like to make a motion that we um, approve the warning for the January 10th uh, continuation reopening of the hearing for the spur at the connecting the old quarry road with the Cabot Road. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so we'll sign. And then we'll ask Diana to come and sign it. And where's the other part of that? Here we go with the paper. Yeah. I wonder how many people will show for this one. I, we're going to do schedule it here, so yeah, I'm building. assuming not quite so many. Um, where is the second page? Just to add that new person in so they have a chance to speak if they wish to. <laughs> yeah. And I am I am in commu communication with them and I'm going to let them know. Obviously they'll be getting this warning again, but um, I'm hoping, well we'll see. I mean, I'll be kind of, I'm, I have a feeling that they probably are not going to want to come up to Woodbury yeah. from where they live in Rahway, New Jersey. Um, to do this, I'm hoping that we'll have some type of written statement, or maybe we could do a, a phone. phone thing or something. But, um, so, Diana, we need your signature on this warning. You need a notary or just a... It says, attest to true record, so, and then it has town clerk, so I don't know whether it's a, to be notarized, but then, of course, you, you also have to um, do your warning thing that we did before. So okay. basically we've kind of got to go through the whole process over again. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Wonderful. I'm sorry. <laughs> it has nothing to do with me. <laughs> okay. Okay. The whole yeah. certified meal thing again. Okay. Yeah, oh, yes. Yeah. And I have the whole oh, thing. I have the list from before. I brought the folder down. Oh, good. I have a bunch of them that were returned that I never got back okay. to you. Oh. I've got some other things in here, but um, and actually, that, I should probably hang on to the full phone numbers for Roy Eastman. You can't do this. Uh, maybe just hang on to what I should. I think I'm good. I got this phone number. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's the other piece of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're gonna, I'm gonna see if he can give give you that piece of land or something. I'm gonna see. Yeah, he sounded sort of. Old. I mean, he didn't sound like. Oh, well, you already approached it. I yeah. Uh, I I not in detail, but I did. Mm -hmm. He's I, my feeling is that he may just donate it to us, mm -hmm. or oh, yeah. I don't. We'll think have he, to decide compensation. Yeah. After the next hearing, to, if you want. Yeah. So. You just give him a quick do a, a quick claim deed that he can. We'll see, yeah, I'll see. I gotta try to figure out what options I should talk to him about from the from the lawyer. And what is this? Is this just a? It's probably extra paper that's in there. I've been just putting oh, things okay. in there. Oh, okay. Okay. Sort of this right. is the old. This is a copy of the old for the October 10th night is this? here, and that's probably the same thing. It's the other part. Okay. That. Yeah, there's probably extra stuff oh, in there. Oh, okay. Don't I'll try to keep this separate. Just puts it all in there. Survey. Yeah, I was trying to keep it all together. The survey is in there too. Okay. I have that digitally, so. Okay, so, so this doesn't affect the Coleman's portion. It doesn't, no. and you know, if that for this, the continuing of the hearing, because we'll basically just be addressing the, the property, property, the new yeah, property. So um, we don't have to go, we you know, back over any of the stuff that we hold from the old hearing. So it should be short and sweet. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and, you know, Coleman is certainly going to receive notice of it. Yeah. He's, it's a public meeting. He's welcome to be here, but it, it won't really concern no. his property at all. Um, good. And then I suspect from this hearing, then, um, our town lawyer will put together the, the, final, um, the final part. Uh, okay, now i got to find the agenda.
<laughs> I think we're pretty much I got here. Okay. We're at road crew work report. Okay, I, I really don't have much to report other than um, you know that you guys didn't. Yeah. You and Lynn did meet with the um, road crew, and I think we're hopefully we're on a positive track. Yeah. Here. So I mean to go over this list really quick. Yeah, here's my agenda. Yeah. Um, I guess the two biggest ones we probably got to look. Well, I think we have to take a serious look at the, his, the dump truck issue, but I think that's for us to talk about at budget time. Right. We'll think about it. Mm -hmm. um, this idea of appointing, I guess you're holding the title of road commissioner. Right? I'm not the road commissioner. No, okay. I refuse to um, okay. have that title. I okay, am so the town highway okay. administrative got assistant. It. And that's what. So, so one of the things that Linda brought up, we kind of bang around, is the appointment of a road commissioner, right. whether it's Lynn, whether it's someone else. To, mm -hmm. we, we, we all, I think, pretty well understood that mm -hmm. we're not in a position to right. do that job. So that's yeah. something I think we need to think about and take a look at. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I agree. Yeah. You continue to do what you're doing, and we'll figure out whether... Right. If, if, I think we've got to look at it two ways. Don't look at it if it's Lynn and people have trouble with Lynn that... We shouldn't do it, but right. or sh is this a valid thing? And I think right. it is. I think yeah. it, I whatever wherever we do, because I don't think any of us want to be yeah. in the position. And again, having talked with Greg, both Gregs, mm -hmm. I get that they both want to mm -hmm. do a good job. They do. They want to. They we may have disagreements on what that is, and mm -hmm. some of these things may be controversial. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what you know. We may have to say, this mm -hmm. is how it's going to be, mm -hmm. and that's the way it is. Mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. Which not everyone's gonna be happy, and that's again the position we're right. in when you have employer employee relations. Sometimes yeah. it gets down to mm -hmm. we get to find a say, and that's mm -hmm. the way it is. But I, I, mm -hmm. I do think it's valuable before we would take some of these actions that we mm -hmm. sit down with each of them individually with mm -hmm. the board, mm -hmm. to yeah. give them that opportunity as we would want to be as an employee mm -hmm. and say, This is what we're considering. I'd like to hear right. your yep. concerns. We may not agree with you, we may not change what we're going to do, but because mm -hmm. that's what I would want done. Yeah, so that would be my suggestion. Yeah. In that particular regard, but I think it's something we need to take a serious look at doing. Whether we compensate this person, which again we have an, we have an offer from someone to do it with no compensation, but yeah. realistically, in the moving forward, there may be a day when mm -hmm. there needs to be some compensation for yeah. that. So that's to be discussed. Um, and the other big one would be uh, shifting the focus uh, of the road crew from re reconstruction projects to general maintenance. Mm -hmm. So that's I think we need to, two things we got to take a serious look at. Mm -hmm. So doing one fixes a lot of those other little things that we talked about. And I just made a quick list. That, uh, some of the things that I picked up on is that we do have an electronic log system mm -hmm. that we may want to say this has to be done mm -hmm. by the folks over there, however mm -hmm. we do that. And I, I also, there may be an opportunity to use an electronic timekeeping system. Randy can weigh in or whoever knows with this about I don't, yeah, I don't know what that's about. logging hours electronically. Some way, Randy, the, right the there. Truck equipment hours. Well, even their work hours, truck uh -huh. hours and work hours. There we go. Oh, I saw it. <laughs> so this I, has been in the slide. I board. saw that and I, I looked at it this week and I could. What the heck is this? So Skip Lindsay had created this. Okay. It's very small. Mm -hmm. I have glasses on. I have glasses. Um, on. but it's. This would be for employee very, hours, right? Yeah, yeah. For the highway. A, a so they would sheet. fill it in. Right. So on again, the so the. The idea is we'd have one electronic log, which you're working on now, right? You've been entering stuff in it for the equipment. For the equipment. Just for the maintenance and right. So there's something that so, so that so there's uh, I know that like Greg may not want to do it, but like I know Tim for the fire is very electronic savvy. Right. So you might get one of the other employees to do it. But I think it's something we may want to just say you need to do this. Mm -hmm. Log eight hours, log what you're doing it. And then this type of system where we're getting not just I worked eight hours today, but what did we work on? That's what this is kind of saying. Yes. Uh -huh. It states. So mm -hmm. so that's a that's all kind of fits in with that management is that kind of makes our life easier. So I, think I know a large app. I know Greg um, Parker keeps a journal of He does, yeah. He yeah. showed me the book. Right? So, okay. so and again, nothing against Greg and I don't even care. He may not be wanting to mm -hmm. but we can still say this needs to be done. Right. And you need this is one of those things. It's just you all. We don't see the book. Right, y'all figure yeah. out. It's not only that, but if we're working on a grant mm -hmm. and they put in the hours, how right. many grant would be that so vote, much easier. It'd be so much you easier. Pull up the iPad, you pull up the history, right. and boom, we're done. Yeah, we'll have it would to pull be up easier. Research on timesheets. Yeah. See, so what I have to hours. do 
Is Greg, right Greg has it in right, his journal. Right, right, I write right. down the date. That, that needs to stop. Get the, yeah, that needs to stop. Get the files. Yeah. So whether Greg wants to do it or if, if Tim? I know Tim does a lot of our electronic stuff. He's good at that. Give him a couple hours a week to do all that logging. Yeah. But they're each going to probably have to do their time records. If there's a system to do it on, they'll have to do it on. We've got the what, iPad over what there. If they, what if they did the time system for each person on right. paper and then Tim entered it? Any way they want to do it. Yeah. But it, So it's electronic. And that way you have it. We all have it. But that's one of the things I think we should need to implement somehow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't need to make that decision tonight, but we have right. a couple meetings coming. We need to, some of this stuff, we need just, they're very little things. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. That's a big one. So it's accountability. You know, well, plus, plus we, we have the paper trail accountability. Yeah, it's this there, is, this but it's is very definitely... difficult to do things on paper. We've yeah. we've morphing everything on the firehouse on the electronic yeah, records. This would be I've much a, easier for. I've got to produce reports for every individual, what they did for training, for their medical, mm -hmm. for their fire, and it, mm -hmm. sitting there going through papers every January wasn't fun. Now I can go. She had 50 hours or whatever it is, and that person went on. This many runs, and I can document it very quickly. Yeah, that would make my grant report right. A lot so again, yep. cogitate on that. That's yeah. just something I think we need to okay. do. Um, um, the other thing that I don't need to get into too much, because I think if you did one item one, the other items besides the the, we have to decide one and two, and probably the electronic time and record keeping system. Mm -hmm. I think was kind of our our deal. Mm -hmm. But then the rest of it, you're road commissioner manages mm -hmm. and because again it's really it's difficult for us to propose what the road crew needs mm -hmm. right because Greg's doing it right and you know that would give us another person in there that's mm -hmm. kind of that's their job is mm -hmm. not necessarily having to go out and work but right. they're going to come in and say well this week it's mm -hmm. going to rain you're going to cut brush or this mm -hmm. week you know mm -hmm. You fill in the blanks. So the codes he came up with are, are um, whether they're doing training, whether they're doing yeah, grading. Right. So this is great for when you're doing grants or when we're looking at mm -hmm. where the time is going. Because again, this and, and it depends the road crew too. Because if somebody says, well, they're not out grading, well, we can run a report really quickly. Right. Yes, they are. They well, are they out have, grading. They have a system that does a lot of that. Right. And we, yeah. On, right. on his computer in yep. the office. Correct. And that's what we want. I think we need to just say you got to use this. Now, whether each of it's better if each employee does their own, but we could have it with one if they're uncomfortable with electronic stuff. I could always input data too. Yeah, I'm just my Slack board hour. I'm trying to just not have so many people involved in just timekeeping, you know what I mean? Because I know for me at work, it's my job to record all my time mm -hmm. on the computer. Mm -hmm. I, just, I didn't get a choice. I just do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So anyway, Mm -hmm. So I guess I think I think we need to take action on a couple of these. I don't have to be to tonight, okay. but then we create something and then we say, moving forward, this is what it's kind of going to look like. Yep. Following the one principle that don't change too much at once, because if you do too much, you'll get nothing done. So right. I think I'm going to pick a couple of these and then let the others kind of work themselves out for a while. Do we want to try to meet with the different road crew employees before um, town meeting, or? I think we should. I think yeah, in so the next couple of months we should yeah. take, but particularly if we're going to do one, mm -hmm. item one, and mm -hmm. say this is what we're right. thinking about. I want to hear your concerns. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, meet with them all. We may not agree with you. You may not like what we do, but this may be what happens yeah. because I think we're all kind of in an agreement with what. But I don't want it to Thank feel you. forced down yeah. your throat because nobody hates anything more than to get told. Yeah, right. they didn't get any input. Just understanding your input mm -hmm. might not change. Mm -hmm. you do. I think what Lynn can offer is a nice set of eyes from somebody who's done the work, mm -hmm. and he can come to us and say, you know what, yeah. over on the county road, there's a short section that really needs mm -hmm. some attention. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe they haven't mm -hmm. seen it, maybe they haven't thought about it. You don't know. Yeah. But and, and if we end up going with his offer, um, we need buy-in from those folks to, mm -hmm. yeah. to yeah. do it. And if, if, if not, it could be someone else, and maybe Lynn's still willing to work with that other person to train yeah. them. Mm -hmm. If 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 the, if the personalities are going to be challenging, right? Yeah. That'll be the that'll be right. So so you there's an opportunity I think if it's a different person, mm -hmm. but you that person could work. Right. proven that he can be. He was polite over there at the yeah. garage. Everything yeah. was, no, it was like very, very polite. I, yeah. I think I, uh, if those guys will give him a chance, he could really yeah. make a difference. For and then there. the expectation with that foreman would be they'd be coming to the selectmen's meetings on mm -hmm. to on Monday so we can talk through them and then. The you form, don't, foreman or the commissioner? The commissioner, sorry. Commissioner, yeah. The commissioner. Then Greg doesn't have to come. The commissioner right. would be mm -hmm. would be uh, in charge of. Mm -hmm. You know, Greg's still foreman. He's going to manage right. the what. He's, you're going to get told this is what you need to do yeah. this week. Yeah, and he's and go do it. You manage the people, and that's yeah. way that limits what the 
Mm -hmm. commissioner has to yeah. do. Okay. The commissioner has more oversight than we do, obviously. Right. We're, we're the ultimate stop, yeah. but you yeah. know, we're not knowledgeable about I'm yeah. not I mean I could become stuff. knowledgeable, but I'm gonna have to go spend time mm -hmm. yeah. over there. Okay. Yeah, it does add it adds some accountability, mm -hmm. you know, that we you know, and it's mm -hmm. possible in the future you could have a road commissioner who's also the road foreman and working on the vehicles over mm -hmm. there. That could yeah. be. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's we don't have that right now. And with right. the bodies and personalities we have now, mm -hmm. this may be what we need to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There may yeah. very well the next person trying. goes in there, they may be perfectly qualified to do the job of both, but they you know you lay right up the expectations you're gonna come to the selectmen's yep. meetings on every other Monday and yeah. We expect you to manage all these things. Yeah. And when there's a problem, we're going to be bringing you in on the table as to why it's not done. It's not the crew's fault. It's your fault. The commissioner. Right. Yeah. yeah, the road commissioner will get all the green. You get all the green. <laughs> so the dynamic changes, that they get the phone yeah. calls. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. You may, it may be unrealistic yeah. to say there's right. absolutely no comp. It may be similar to what they're doing with you a certain amount of hours. It seems like there should be. Yeah. To me, to, to say that you're not going to compensate someone is just it's unreasonable and unrealistic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just that's the way it is. Someone mm -hmm. can disagree with me, but that's okay. You take the job then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds. So anyway, that's it. What we got so far. So I think it's moving forward. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. So um, I assume the town hall is all. All done. All Diana's done. Okay. seen it. Okay. Um, Robin hadn't seen it yet, but. Mm -hmm. It's all done. All the shingles were hauled out of there this week. Okay. Brandy did the final payment. Okay. Excellent. Good. Mm -hmm. So um, I have an issue. Oh. Uh oh. Have you noticed the? I don't know. I I call them black back splashes. Probably not. That's what it's called. On the outside of the building, where you have the main, where the two roof, where the roof comes when together comes to the main. The flashing. Right. That yeah. flashing there. Mm -hmm. I thought that was going to be one long, solid piece across there. Mm -hmm. It's got, I don't know, three, four different seams through there. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be a potential for more? Do you know how much you overlap those? I don't know. Can you ask you him? Could, uh, yeah. Okay, we'll find out. Because if it's overlapped a couple of feet, it should be okay. should be okay, yeah. If it's just a little bit, I hope, I think he knew what he was going to Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll look well, into it. But if you can find out what, how much you overlapped, it will answer that yeah. question. That's my issue. I mean, okay. because we just had this work done, so okay. it doesn't. You don't want yeah. it to happen. If it's overlapping right. enough, we should be okay. We'll find that out. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep, check it. Because mm -hmm. I know mine's got, I've got a 40 foot deck, and that's multiple pieces of flashing, and mm -hmm. I just overlapped it by a foot and a half or something. Yeah. 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 No okay. water gets through there. Mm -hmm. We'll find out. We'll find okay. out. Okay. <laughs> Um, so at this point, I'd, I'd like to make a motion um, that we go into executive session citing 1 VSA Section 313A, 1 Part B, Labor Relation Agreements with Employees. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so. And we're in expected time.